It's the Opie and Anthony Show. <laughs> we should demand that Steve Kappas gets fired. We should demand it. Now he's going on TV to try to explain why he decided that everyone needed to see uh, these video clips from this uh, this weirdo. You know something? I'll even give him that. I will even give him that it's a marginal morality kind of call whether to air it. But the fact that he opened up a package that contains something that could be used in an ongoing federal investigation of the murder of, you know, 30 people, 31 people and himself, uh, is ridiculous. The guy, he's tampered with evidence. They knew it was uh, uh, from this uh, guy before they opened it, yet they decided to open it with NBC security there. That must be good. Yeah, those guys That must are... be good. Was it the same people that make sure Don Pardo gets up the stairs in, in the elevator? <laughs> what, what is NBC security doing? Do they know how to handle that? Rachel, so that... Rachel Dretch's escort. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Sorry, i got to open up this package from this. Yeah. Uh, they were assisted by NBC pages that helped them uh, open this package. Our, the pages of NBC are actually a branch of the Treasury Department. Right, right. Sorry. ATF, I think. Let me introduce everybody. Louis C.K. has joined the Opie and Anthony Louis show. Louis C.K., always a pleasure to have Louis on the hey, show. Fellows. Playing Caroline's all weekend? All weekend, next weekend. This weekend I'm in Atlanta at the Punchline, and this coming weekend. You know what I noticed about Atlanta? It's a huge XM market for yes. us. Yes. Yeah. I I noticed that for some reason they love this show in Atlanta on uh, XM because we're not on a regular station down there. My it's a tickets dirty go, town. My tickets down there go like flapjacks. Do they go oh. like flapjacks? That's a wonderful way to put it. So Atlanta this <laughs> yeah, weekend. That's wonderful. Caroline's colorful. in New York next weekend. <laughs> that's right. Next weekend, Caroline's all weekend. All right. So what do you think about this whole thing? The, the this is obviously the only thing to talk about. Well, right I was today. telling Anthony like it's all made me really <laughs> sick and. Even the kid doing the shooting is like the least sickening part of it at this yeah, point. It's like, it's yeah, some kids are dead. But what the media is doing, yeah, it really is. That's more. the most outrageous, sick part of it. Because well, John the other Hinkley, thing is yesterday's news. John Hinckley was on the cover of People for shooting John Lennon. That's how far back it goes. If you kill somebody, you're, you're guaranteed. You're on the news. You mean Hinckley for Reagan or, or, or Chapman? Did I screw Lennon? it up? Yeah. Yes, you did. You took Mark one, David Chapman. Everyone you does that. You your murderers. Well... Everyone John does that because they were so close together. Were, and, and, and Lennon and and, John, and uh, Ronald Reagan were very like yeah. they were very much alike politically. Yes, yes, they were very. You know, <laughs> yeah. Nobody told me there'd be days like these. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Imagine, God. imagine all the people imagine will live in. Life in peace, <laughs> mommy. Was he really for peace? Let's really, we want to get into it. Faux pas. The bombing starts in five minutes. <laughs> Just talking about the Russians who have missiles pointed towards us, too. This is on what? Yeah, hello. Oh, Testing. Oh, oh. What happened? Oh. That was when uh, Reagan was uh, before. He, he was, was doing a sound a check on the radio. Press conference, yeah. First fire, side chat or whatever. Yeah, first get mic address, levels. And he went to one, two. They said, can we get a level from you, Mr. President? And he said, one, two, uh, the, we've, the missiles are flying, we're bombing Russia. Yeah. He was joking. The yeah. bombing starts it wasn't in five on, minutes. It wasn't yeah. on the air. It was a joke he made to the engineers, and someone said, oh, that's, and they, and they made us think. That's a good it. one. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, All right. there he is on the phone, Steve Kappas. Yeah, we got to get that audio. We'll have it in a few but minutes. But so, so, but the thing is, well, first of all, I see the kid. I see him on, I haven't heard, I haven't seen the thing. I just saw on the cover of the newspaper. Yeah. He's a boring loser. This Thank kid. you. Right. Like, We're even now with more. the shooting, uh -huh. even if I met him, if he came back from suicide, and I'd be like, yeah, what's up? Uh, <laughs> We're talking. Over yeah. Okay. I'd uh, still shun him. We're busy as, over here. Yeah. Just a nerd. Yeah, he, he had nothing to say in this, what they're now calling his manifesto, his yeah. multimedia manifesto. Yeah. Which, until you kill someone and then kill yourself, it's your YouTube videos, your yes. blog, and yes. your MySpace page. Yes. Uh, that is just boring as hell. But then once you kill a bunch of people and yourself, it becomes a Published. video multimedia manifesto. Yeah. He felt invisible. And that, well, he's still in now. He's really invisible. Yes, he's dead. No, no, he, no you won't be seeing rotting. him no more. He sent a press oh, kit. Won't be seeing him no more. <laughs> Headshot. Yeah, he sent out a press <laughs> kit. Well, put together. <laughs> That's what they said. Quotes about him. Yeah, it's a press <laughs> kit. Quotes. <laughs> well, well, you want to get into it? This is how it all went down last night. At, uh, you know, on NBC. 
Ah, yes. No, but and then there's all these roadside bombs in Iraq. People die ah. there by the thousands. And there's no, like, uh, yeah. loving testimony about each victim in Iraq with piano playing behind it. Yeah, with it the nice a music bad playing American in the background. mother crying about it. No, it's not even nice music. It's, like, that morbid, like, creepy, yeah, like, oh, over the top. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. <sighs> Good evening. We now know what the Virginia Tech gunman was doing during that two-hour period between shootings on campus. He was compiling before going to the post office and mailing via overnight mail what can only be described as a multimedia manifesto containing oh, video only be described? and a lengthy a document <laughs> to NBC headquarters no in only building here in New York. Um... He actually said that on the air. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It can only be... I think what can, can only be, be described. described... Oh, excuse me. There's a few other ways yeah. to describe that. Uh, the, the ramblings, ramblings of, of a weirdo idiot. loser. Yeah. Yeah. How about yeah. a, a bunch of videos and pics? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and it's not like it's it's like 1970, where it's like, wow, this guy's got video... What is that stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Video of himself? What is video? I... Anyone can take their their phone now yep. and make a manifesto. Yes, you know it's not like this. Wow, we got video. We got pal talk cameras on right now. Yeah, I guess we're doing a manifesto as we speak. This yes. is the Opie and Anthony Manifest Show. That's what we're calling it, the Manifest Ooh. Show. Show. Nice. What is a manifesto? Can we look that up direct? Because uh, they always yeah. credit some ass like Ted Kaczynski. Yeah, he had a manifesto. He's a yes. Rambling douche. Can you imagine though? He goes to the post office. Yeah. In between. Maybe he was just going to only kill those two people, and then he got so frustrated at the post office and decided, oh, my God. I like that. <laughs> I got to yeah. lose my mind now. Yeah, this he had to go to the post office to mail the thing in between. I like that he had to be at the post office and have polite discourse with some Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, you know, next. Oh, th uh, thank you. How you yeah. doing? Yeah. You have to look, make sure you had a 10. Is this, did I have the right uh, label for express, yeah. man? There's confusion. It's yeah. like, oh, I think you were before me. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. exactly. Yeah. Do, you have yeah. the, do, do you have the zip code? Actually, no. No problem. I can oh, look okay. it up. Oh, thanks. I'll, I'll look at it. <laughs> or we were we were talking about it during commercials that like maybe his intention was to just kill the mm. initial people at the first building. Right. But he got so pissed at the post office, <laughs> so frustrated, like waiting online. <laughs> there was probably somebody that was online in front of him that just was asking stupid questions, uh. and he's like, "Oh my god." And he's like, I, come I, on! Now, now I'm really. Either that, pissed. or he killed the first couple of people, and then watched the news, and was like, "Ah, oh, this ain't happening." Yeah, this, I this, go out and do yeah. Some more. damn it! Oh wow, I really. <laughs> I need a manifesto. Uh. Multimedia manifesto. Uh. The envelope was sent from Blacksburg, Virginia, on Monday morning, and looking at a copy, you can even see the handwriting of the clerk checking it in at 9:01 a.m. Mm. But because we all got his autograph, had the wrong zip code, and there are three <laughs> different scratched-out attempts at it, along with Rockefeller Avenue and not Rockefeller Plaza in oh, New York. Don't have done. The zip code had to be corrected, and it didn't arrive. Doesn't he watch here Tina Fey's show? Today. Come on, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> I've seen a face show. Send it there. Yeah. He can't find it. He's always looking for 30 lock. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. <laughs> they're, uh... How do you walk up in the sun? Anyone else knows that they're... they're walk up in the sun? They're explaining this way too much. Yeah. Like, they're yeah. trying to cover their ass. Like, look, you know, a lot of people think we might have had this package the day before, but look, it got the address wrong and the zip wrong. Yeah. It's like a guy trying to explain why there's a gun in his bag. I was, I was just... It was put yep. right in my bag. Uh, I had nothing. <laughs> look. I had no choice. I. That was not my marijuana. Here, here's your manifesto uh, definition: a public declaration of intentions, opinions, objectives, or motives as one issued by a government, sovereign, or organization. The manifesto. A lot of yeah countries put out a manifesto. Yeah. Wait, we have yeah. to get our, our motives and, and our intentions. Okay. When I am done with this show today, mm -hmm. I am going to go home and try to receive. Treats from my girlfriend orally. <laughs> that is a manifesto. Why? Because I want them. You got mm -hmm. something festering in your uh, <laughs> your manhood. <laughs> yeah, Ma manifesto. <laughs> <laughs> Code had to be corrected, and it didn't arrive here until today. An alert New York City Postal Service employee spotted the return address, and he spotted the return address name Ishmael, and brought it to our attention that was by good. hand. Mm. Yeah, that postal guy was pretty wow. good. Yeah. You know, actually looking at the return address, realizing, yeah, you know, this is from uh, the same place, but it's Ishmael. Oh, I kind of remember them saying something about that. Ishmael. He's well read.
Hey, do you need a, uh, a password for the pre-sale? Um, Ryan, Long Island, go. Hey, how you doing, Owen? Hey, you guys didn't mention any sort of password, and you need one for the pre-sale when it starts. Manifesto. Uh, that's, Hold that's, on. That's just that's wonderful. His manifesto. It's not on... That's why he's going to go kill somebody. <laughs> yeah, he did guy. not issue any sort of a password. Password. All right, keep listening to the radio. Presale starts he at 9. He might have told me what it was. If, if we need a password, we'll find it out immediately. You Thanks. who did not issue a password. Uh, here we go. William says the first thing they did was call authorities, then then made. They were sensitive. What? I then made copies. I don't know. When the package arrived on the desk of our news division president today, the first thing we did was call federal authorities. Ah, they're coming Tonight they ass, have yeah. the original envelope. This one we've been showing you is a color copy. We have been pouring over a copy of the contents we made. It has taken hours and we are still going through it. We are sensitive to how all of this will be seen by those affected, and we know we are, in effect, airing the words of a murderer here tonight. But oh you can't just say, God. we are sensitive, yeah. We're and, sensitive then to it. and then go do it. And then do it. Airing it. Yeah, you That's can't. like a guy raping, are... a, he's raping a girl and giving domestic violence stats. Yeah, yeah. How amazing would it have been <laughs> yeah. if that dude, if the guy we're listening to said, we are sensitive to what how this will affect, so we're not going to show it to you. Yeah, so anyway, we're... we just want to let you know we have it. It's amazing. We made a Goodbye. decision. Yeah. yeah. It'll end up limited. It's going to be on YouTube anyway. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to see it, just search That's it on YouTube. That's the same crap like uh, when you do wrong and you go, oh, I take full responsibility. Yeah. What, the, what, what, what does, does that, that mean? mean? No, it's like a John Rocker style of apology. Like, uh, if you were offended because right. you're stupid, if you were... even though you're wrong, I'm sorry. Because <laughs> my lawyer made me be sorry. <laughs> Pointless. Exactly. How great would it be if he sent it to NBC and he kept citing the reasons for these murders as how awful NBC television sitcoms had become? And there's not a laugh to be had. I can't. I had to kill people. NBC is so bad. It's so unfun. Do you think they still would have aired they'd, it? They'd have played it. Yeah, sure. Oh, no, they, All the they, other they, networks would have. They might have paraphrased it. Yeah. <laughs> when the time came, I did it. Oh yeah. Now we get to listen. To now I've not heard his voice yet. Now we get Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah. Now we get to listen to Napoleon yeah. Dynamite. Oh, you idiot! Ugh. When the time came, I did it. Nerd. I had to. In a separate Sweet. written document, he includes 29 photos he apparently took of himself. He looks like a normal, smiling college student in only the first head. two. In the rest, he presents the stern face and strikes the pose that was very likely what his victim saw later on. No, it wasn't! In 11 of the oh, pictures, jinx. he aims handguns at the camera, likely the very ones he bought in the past two months. They're making it like this is like a cowboy uh, uh, comic book. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's what they're doing. Just like Jesse James was probably a fat nerd who, <laughs> yeah. who awkwardly quit. Twin when he pulled the trigger, he cringed and made all sorts of yeah. gay faces. Probably had really bad <laughs> B.O. Yeah. Swamp ass. But they show him with a chiseled face on the cover of right. some comic yeah. book, and then kids end up being cowboys. It's the same thing here. Yeah. The grimace and the pointing. No, yeah, look when he at was him. shooting the kids, he was probably blinking a lot and, and probably yeah, peeing his own pants. Made a stupid face like a guitarist doing a real hard guitar <laughs> yeah, lead. Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I idolized Jesse James, and um, but then someone told me that his grandfather had been shot by Jesse James. And Jesse James out. shot my grandfather, <laughs> and then I had a uh, I, I had the same thing happen. I had a nightmare. That I was on a train <laughs> with my sisters. family, yeah. and uh, Jesse James came in, and I was all psyched to see him. But then he started shooting my family. Yeah, and wasn't the weird part about the dream that it, the set looked like it was probably right next to the house? Like it was yeah, right yeah, cheap. it was. Lit, it was lit weird the same, like that. even though it was the old lit rest, the same, and the music was house. kind of written by the same guy <laughs> yes. that wrote some I don't know poppy kind of song. <laughs> yes. And then, and then I wasn't sure what was happening, uh, but but for some reason, uh, my my father had fallen. With his face on the pillow, and Jesse James was behind him, grabbing his hips and trying to oh, help him up. Weird. <laughs> Holstering the old weird. pistol. <laughs> oh. Yes, and uh, he fired bullets oh. at my father all over his back. Oh, my goodness. And then, uh, I don't know why, but Jesse James was afraid to get Dad's blood on him. <laughs> all right, hey, let's... Uh, well, the, the actions could have been avoided. Here's uh, more of Napoleon Dynamite. You had a hundred billion chances and ways to have avoided today, but you mm. decided to spill my blood. You forced me into a corner and gave me only one option. Took my tots. 
Now you have blood on your hands that will never wash off. Much of it is incoherent, laced with profanity. He rails against hedonism and Christianity. You just love to crucify me. You love inducing cancer in my head, terrorizing my heart, and raping my soul all this time. That's not railing against He could have the worst voice I've ever heard. Just, oh yeah. It's the worst voice I've ever heard. No. He should do voiceovers for diarrhea. You <laughs> mean <laughs> 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 yeah, like commercials that are like for diarrhea? Like to, <laughs> not to stop diarrhea, but... Yeah, yeah. Diarrhea. Yeah. It's a pro-diarrhea <laughs> commercial, uh, Lily. That's what he's doing. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, we of the you want to have kind. diarrhea. Oh. What's better than just uh, diarrhea? Give me cancer in my brain. Pain in my heart. Ugh. Oh, and then he wait. said, you had, right in the beginning of that, he says, you had hundreds of millions of chances of ways. A hundred trillion gazillion ways. Stop is, but... I, uh, but uh, I blame the ligers. You guys are dicks. Sounds like Tara Reid. <sighs> oh, my God, guys. I'm so angry with you. Yeah. hundred billion gazillion ways. But that's not a real number, Tara. Yeah. I don't know what it is. But this you is news. Stop that's it. the thing is the serious, what makes it offensive is the dude talking over it and... Oh, yeah. We had to show you this. Yes. We couldn't just tell you what was in it. I just hope no. we're getting um, smarter out there. You know, they're obviously lying to us. You know, I hope yeah. we're becoming more media savvy. They did it for the ratings and yep. for the money that it will generate, and they should admit that openly. It's true. The problem is that nobody watches something less because they think it's reprehensible. You right. know what I mean? No, we so we like, as a people love reprehensible <clears throat> stuff. Yeah. yeah. We, well, why do people think in such a short period of time... You know, relatively speaking, and we've heard this thousands of times, uh, we've been on this planet for a very short period of time. I don't know why humans feel that we can evolve so quickly. You know, it was a, a, a nothing. It was such a small amount of time between the gladiators killing each other for amusement yeah, in the Coliseum. Yeah. Yeah, on the whole global timeline, yeah. the snap of a finger. It's not even that. Uh, yeah, it's it's nothing. It's not even yeah. a Why do people think because we learned how to build cool things mm. that in our heads we're not the same people that kind of dig watching atrocities well, and just I'm horrible things? Still, every day when I just look at traffic on a highway uh -huh. flowing smoothly, I'm amazed that people aren't just stopping their cars <laughs> and killing and raping everyone around them. And the only reason like, they're not, you're nature. right. You're right. I'm amazed that everyone doesn't do that the all the time. Only reason they're not is because they're late for something. That's it. Like they That's have it. to be somewhere. Yes. If people didn't have jobs, yes. like they, jobs is a way to keep this planet is. from just ending up with people ripping no. each other's clothing off, yes. raping, killing. Do, do you know, the I'll entire be late fabric for work. of society is a distraction yes. because in yes. reality, you, what do you need a job for? To get money to get food. You could grow food right outside your door and yeah. buy a cow sure. and drink the milk and then eat it later, but. We make this, we put it in another place where so you have to get, just so that, first of all, so guys can get out of their houses and not listen to their s ugly, stupid wives. <laughs> and also, everybody's wife is stupid and ugly. Do you, do you, and, and so that people won't kill each other. Do you think yeah. uh, deep down uh, we secretly wish for stuff like this to happen? Yes. Is there like course. some kind of like excitement? That we feel, dude. My, Absolutely. I've told you of my my dream all the time. It is to be around for the complete apocalypse yeah, totally. of the world. Totally. I want to be around and just watch either the meteor hit or just a complete meltdown of all society yeah. where it's complete anarchy, nothing but gunfire and bombs outside. I, I want an yeah. alien invasion. Alien invasion that's, would be another great yeah, one. Yeah, nuclear, what, bah, that's just hack. I want, like, alien. Hack. Oh, you want something, like, oh, amazing yeah, way out there. Even though totally. the movie sucked, War of the Worlds all the way. Oh, totally. Where yeah. you just realize, wow, wow, we have no chance yeah. against this whatsoever. Uh, great. You I, can't make phone calls and make some crazy last-minute deal mm -hmm. with a country. No, you don't even know how, they, you don't even know their language. <laughs> No, when Katrina, when they started making warnings about Katrina, yeah, I, I gotta say there was at least four percent of me that was going, "Come on, come, come on, on, Levy, see it. Yeah, don't hold." People are like, uh, "You're crazy." To say no, but, that, they, but I think secretly we sorry, all have that deep there. inside us. Like, yeah. why do you think people watch the news so much yes. like that? When there's big stories, the ratings go up on the news. Yeah. What are they watching it for? Hoping, oh, please solve this and get it off the air, no, so I, I don't have I to see it anymore. You, when the guy got that envelope. After he, you know, uh, pulled down his pants and did what he obviously did, <laughs> exactly. immediately to get to relieve himself, 
of the anxiety he was feeling. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and he, he gathered people together and they said, okay, what if we release this? What happens? Well, people will be really upset. And then somebody else said, but will they watch us less? And he, nope. Nope. Put it right. out. It's Full on. Full speed ahead. They don't even yeah. have that conversation. Hey, it's just, yeah. it's a reflex. When I, yeah. uh, I got home from doing some errands and, and I turned on the TV and saw this was going down, uh, in my brain, I'm like, cool. Like, wow, there's yeah. more to this story. Yeah. And then, like, I'm going to go home today, and I'm going to hope there's going to be another tidbit that comes out. That's why. I mean, I feel, I, I, you know, and I, I hope we don't have to say this, but of course we feel bad for the victims and all their families and all that. But as far as a viewer and, and, living, it, yeah. and living through this, when you hear that there's a new tidbit, you're running right to the it TV. It doesn't yeah. even have anything to do with the actual <laughs> tragedy. It, no. it, what it is is we... How can we look at things like like uh, curse words being offensive and, and let's not offend people on their race and stuff when we are still so uncivilized uh, mentally oh, yeah. and with our own instincts that we enjoy watching suffering and crime and and murder yeah but janet jackson's boob and, yeah but that's, uh, that's the stuff that that's we got the worst thing that happened in american history in the last decade right yeah. i mean that changed the world yeah the booby slip <laughs> yeah, yeah that changed Come the on. world with a star over the nipple speaking We're on a bizarro planet speaking yeah, of are. disasters can someone get uh usa today from yesterday oh i thought you needed iraq he's right there it was it was really interesting on the front page of the life section his head. they said if you're 21 years or older they were mostly focused Focusing on like a 21-year-old, which would be a senior in uh, college, mm -hmm. they listed all the stuff they've lived through so far, and it's mm -hmm. beyond—it's beyond amazing. When we turned 21, th there wasn't this many things. Right. Just uh, over-the-top events that ha have occurred, and they listed all of them. I want to—I want to—I want to—I want to. Well, it's it's open for uh, yeah, debate. Thing. You know what? It's like when I was a kid and I used to fantasize that my parents would die. I wanted them to die so that I could go to school and have the teacher really focus on me and say, you know, we'll do whatever you need. You know, oh, my wow. God. So I could have like a press conference with my friends. Like all the kids that didn't pay attention to me would, you know, some girl I don't know would cry wow, for me. Yeah. Like I used to You're pray. lucky your parents didn't die because, you know, I kind living of guilt with that. you no, have. But then I, my wish would have come true <laughs> and I would have realized <laughs> things I wish happened. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> yeah. All right, we got it. We got a break. We got Louis C.K. in studio. He's playing Atlanta this weekend. Where's the club I still in Atlanta? That. Louis, right, let's go. I think at least get a stripper to screw me. From my parents died. Uh, um, Atlanta, the punchline in Atlanta this weekend, and then Caroline's next next weekend, weekend. here in New York City. Uh, yeah. Highly recommend. And you're going to be part of the ONA Traveling Virus Conference. I am. I'm going all over the place with you guys with pre-sale tickets starting at 9 a.m. You might need a password. I don't think you do. Pete said we okay. don't have to go through a website, right? We're going to go right to Ticketmaster. No. 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 No pa no password, Kenny? No, you got to go through a website, a link? Yeah. Uh, oh, boy. We're not organized no, once again. What, 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 what do we need to tell the people? we got a half hour. Nine o'clock, you have to go on the website that you can't mention. Our website? Yeah. Okay. Or you can go to your myspace.com uh, slash uh, virus tour or myspace.com slash Opie and Anthony and click on the pre-sale link. That's the only way you can get these special tickets Great. for the special O&A fans. Well, We're finally getting that info out. Why We've was nobody the telling me this while I was days. announcing this for the last three days? No one told me that you had to do that until a listener just because called in. Because it's really just a right. show and some radio. It's not like... Right. What are you, the president? <laughs> well, I should have been. Is Why wasn't I security? told? <laughs> Nobody right. told this is me. a matter of national You know what? Security. Tickets go on sale tomorrow morning. Get, Get Khrushchev on the phone. You're a marginal human. That's why. No, Nobody's but Lou, I have got a lot of importance. All right. Not I so have much. value. We really got so much. We got a break. We got a break. Yeah. We got uh, more audio from Napoleon Dynamite slash the, uh, the killer, the shooter, whatever the hell you want to call this weirdo. More with Louis C.K. and blah, blah, blah. It's Opie and Anthony. <laughs> We're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Once again, Jimmy, pre-sale tickets are uh, happening very soon, and there was some confusion with the info, so... Uh, they start today at 9 a.m. Uh, are we allowed to say the website? This is our, the name of the show, website. Yeah, Opie and Anthony, you know what had to do. Uh, and you got to click on the pre-sale banner to purchase tickets. Uh, I know this is the first you guys are hearing it. I wasn't aware of it. So, uh, tickets are limited. Uh, and if he just wrote in parentheses, this is true and not me trying to hype the free sale. There, there <laughs> might be 500 in every market going on sale today. They're really good tickets. Um, so you go to uh, our website and click on the pre sale banner. And I'm sorry I didn't tell you that sooner. I've been plugging this all week, but I did not know it. Yeah, I was confused about, well, pre sale. Anyone can find the pre sale info, but now it makes sense. You had to go to our website 
to get the, the password and all that to get these special tickets before they go on sale tomorrow. Hey, uh, from the USA Today Life section uh, yesterday, so um, all in their lifetime, from 90, 1986 to, to the present, uh, this is what these kids that are now it's seniors in high school. People that are 20. That 21. Are 21. This is they're what pretty much they're seniors. Through. Yeah, this yeah. is what they've lived through. Uh, they were, they were live for the shuttle blast oh, back in 86. 21 or under, you said. Right? Not 21 or over. Uh, from 1986 to present. Okay. All in their lifetime. So 21 years. If you're 21 or older, you've lived through all these events. Uh, obviously, if you're in your 40s, you lived through a few more. But uh, just 21 years old. Mm -hmm. You were alive for the space uh, shuttle uh, explosion, the first one. Uh, Waco, Texas. Oklahoma City bombing. Olympic uh, bombing. Uh, Columbine. Of course, the terrorist attacks on 9-11. Uh, uh, Colum uh, the Columbia explosion, excuse me. Uh, the tsunami. Hurricane Katrina, and now, of course, uh, the deadliest shooting mm. in U.S. history. Did they mention and the millions, other things uh, millions of other things, too. The, AIDS. The, AIDS yeah. wasn't around before. No, the well, AIDS. Middle of the early AIDS. 80s. I was early here for 80s, the AIDS. Right? The AIDS. I remember the AIDS. 93, uh, 1993, uh, trade turn bombing. Yeah, but, I, I mean, come on. If you, you want to do that, uh, how about uh, the Cuban Missile Crisis? <laughs> yeah, we were alive uh, for, when yeah. they basically said the world. The man. world, pretty much. Uh, you, watch, you watch shows on the Cuban Missile Crisis now, you realize, oh, the, the missiles were in the air. Yeah. We actually had to pull them down by the fins. <laughs> yeah. It was that close. Yeah. Like, that's how close we were to wiping out everybody on the planet. Exactly. And back then, it was just like, ah, everything's in hand. Don't worry. Yes. Kennedy has everything. <laughs> yeah. Talking with Khrushchev now. And they had to use, like, old phones and stuff to communicate with each yeah. other. So mm -hmm. it was really close. It wasn't like you could send a quick text message. Yeah, they could have. Hold had, on, hold yeah, on. Let's, yeah. let's talk a little yes. more about this. Like those commercials about dropouts that could have happened easily. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mr. Khrushchev, I need an answer from you now. Silence. Anybody All right. Well, well, you then the missiles the are coming, my friend. <laughs> all right, we're launching. I, I love those commercials. By the way. <laughs> They're pretty good. They're really good. good. We've all been there. Too. Yep. About that. Okay. Uh, um, I don't know. Assassination. Are we just looking at bad things? Yeah, for the most yeah, part. Okay. Yeah. What about the the uh, the flower festival of '68? That was you know that was pretty yes. bad. <laughs> yeah. Right. We have uh, 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 water, water Watergate. Puffy, puffy bear that. Snuggled with a <laughs> with a monkey. That was they lived through that. Watergate, um, uh, uh, um, Chernobyl, Vietnam, Vietnam War. War. Uh, yeah, the whole Vietnam War. Baby was thrown in there. Baby Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. OJ. Yes. Well, that's, OJ. Well, we that's a for the new. Uh, for that. I don't know. You got to think of when I was twenty. Yeah, screw 21. it. You get the point. We got to get more of the uh, uh, Napoleon Dynamite dudes audio yeah. on. And the don't air say here. when I was twenty-one, Hiroshima. I was, bastards. I was going to go with an Abe Lincoln joke. I'd <laughs> really go. I, I was just. You're going to really take the exaggeration I'm a, further. I'm, I'm a fan of exaggerated humor. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I think it's awful. Why? Well, I, I said something like, when I was a kid, Christ was still an apprentice. I didn't have to do this. I could have left. I could have fled. Jesus. But no, I will no longer run. It's not for me, for my children, for my it's brothers and sisters, the chief. I did it for them. Coward. What did is Nicholas Cage them. talking about? Yeah, he's, he's just over dramatic. Uh, if dope. you're gonna kill people and then manifesto his eyes, just <laughs> enunciate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just be clear. Find a, did it for find a, don't make people strange. Find a proofreader, too. Yeah. It might help you a little bit. Or yeah. be funny. How great would it be if there was no doom? If he was in it? hilarious. If he, if he was like, like the king of comedy. And if he was like, I hate to do this, but so many shoes do not match pants, and just went on this silly rant. <laughs> Yes. Oh my God! Were you go girl? And he was high fiving someone that, that wasn't that there. That would be. That could only be described as I'm sorry, but it is hilarious. That would yeah. be <laughs> so <laughs> creepy, man. It could only be described as a hoot. Just you gives an opie left. <laughs> you would have a lot of beavis and butthead faces on the news, like. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> he did impressions, but it was like really bad impressions of Christopher Walken or Arnold Schwarzenegger, the one every comedian uh, does. I'm the Terminator. <laughs> ah, yeah, that would be awful. Then would they air it? If he was or, being, like, funny? I don't know. How would they, what would the angle be there? His laugh of festo let's get, let's get more here. You sadistic stars, I may be nothing but a piece of <laughs> You have vandalized my heart, raped my soul, and torched my conscience. Ew. You thought it was one pathetic void life you were extinguishing. Thanks to you, I die like Jesus Christ. To inspire generations of the weak and the defenseless people. 
He was probably pissed because his time there machine didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, he just... oh freaking idiot. You know, the, uh, another thing that annoyed the hell out of me when I saw this clip is uh, it's offensive because it's a murderer uh, being given um, a forum on all the channels to discuss his lunacy after he's killed uh, 32 people. And, and they bleep out the the yeah. curse word like that's <laughs> the part of it hear the, yes, yeah the, the, the brown word. again again that's the part of it that they deem yes. unairable yes. <laughs> like well yeah. we all this is but jesus he said the s word you know, it's like when you see blazing saddles on tbs yeah and they they actually take out the fart scene okay. they take it out you will yeah. see the fart scene but he they say nigger about forty thousand yeah times. yeah <laughs> they leave it they in. leave yeah. it in and blazing what saddles is the but... purpose of bleeping is to save people from being offended maybe, offended right maybe yeah. reverend al is on onto something he's basically telling we basically are telling america that a fart scene is not okay but saying the n-word is <laughs> that's <laughs> horrible wow he, he, he might have a point yeah, in that case, <laughs> it's it just like, how do you play this guy who just, I mean, really just killed yeah. so many young people and Actually, bleep completely, out the curse word? Completely uh, fulfilling what he wanted, yeah. making it clear yeah. to everybody in the world that uh, this works every time. Yeah. If no. you kill people, whatever drivel. Yeah, it'll be it would have all been over. <laughs> great if somehow it went back to his parents or something with just a form letter. We appreciate your uh, input. <laughs> yeah, yeah. NBC uh, has looked over your materials. We find that they're not worthy of broadcast. We do not accept unsolicited yeah. material. First of all, it's not in the wrong format. It's yeah. not HD television. It's not up to industry standards. <laughs> yeah. If I shot something like this and tried to get it on the air, forget it. There's yeah, no never. way that I could no. get Just based on how he shot it, it's out of focus. <laughs> it's... It's bleeding, uh, uh, you know, white on. Yeah, the, he didn't you know, white balance it. He didn't white balance it at all. It's terrible. All right. Hey, uh, Rob Bartley wants to check in and say hi. Rob, uh, we got. Uh, it, here's where he blames it on basically rap videos. Uh, I'll make it. I'll make that uh, connection. Oh, okay. Because he's talking about the Kanye, the Cognac, and the Mercedes, and the rich people. Oh, you think that's who he was talking about? <laughs> yo, he, li yo. I, he liked rap videos. Let's get right into Wasn't it. Wasn't he here. talking about the kids? Like yeah, I think so. on your face and has trash shoved down your throat. Do you know what it feels like to dig your own grave? Do you know what it feels like to have your throat slashed from ear to ear? Do you know what it feels like to be torched alive? Do you know what it feels like to, to be listen to this. and be impaled, impaled upon on a cross and left to bleed to death for your amusement? No, and neither do you, you stupid. Pain your whole life. Did you want to inject as much misery in our lives as you can, just because you can? You had everything you wanted. Your Mercedes wasn't enough, you brat. Your golden necklaces weren't enough, you snobs. Your trust yes. fund wasn't enough. Your vodka and cognac weren't enough. All your debaucheries weren't enough. Those weren't enough to fulfill your hedonistic needs. You've had everything. Somewhere in his brain he had to go, yeah, I think I finally got it. Yeah, I think this I got my it. mission statement. All right, yeah. one take. That was good. <laughs> that was did good. A few other takes, like ah. Oh. I did it. Yeah. Uh, he had to have had some awkward. You you you, you didn't. Oh oh boy. Okay. Again, uh, you, you know, you torched my feels like torched my soul. That's uh, stupid. Uh, you know, what it feels like to cross hang on the uh, uh, beep <laughs> with the funny, with the funny cartoons uh, sticks. Yeah, <laughs> take it'll be two. on. Yeah, it'll, it'll be on one of those bloopers <laughs> shows. Out there, yeah, the yeah. cannonball run. Yeah, he's like yeah. he laughs and oh. something like that. With the yeah. credits rolling next to him. Hal Needham comes out and cuts the whole thing off. All right, cut. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> Camera was an on. Dom DeLuise <laughs> laughing in the background. Uh, <laughs> and finally, Brian Williams. Here's another, you know, mission statement from uh, NBC. Listen to this horse crap. We should probably say we're working with law enforcement on some of this because we don't want to create any more heroes or martyrs. <laughs> from this. Too late. Too late. No you copycats. Played. Wait a minute. We're or working heroes with heroes or martyrs. We're work. What does that mean? We're working. You're with not the FBI. You yeah. dopes. You're not working with anybody. Hand over the uh, material and oh, shut God. your mouth. Here's what he said earlier. The the whole way he worded it, the president of uh, NBC uh, News Division there, he worded it like law enforcement uh, told us that airing this wouldn't interfere with their investigation, which doesn't mean law enforcement didn't tell them don't air it. 
He said it wouldn't interfere with their investigation. That's when he was asked, did law enforcement, was there concern about airing this material? The question that was asked was asked, was there concern based on copycats? But he answered it. Law enforcement said this will not interfere with the investigation. No, it doesn't matter. Nobody has to tell you. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, it's right. like when when uh, the Hillary Clinton and anybody else running for president talks about the money they've raised. And mm -hmm. they say, we we followed the letter of the law. Yeah, but you shouldn't take money from pe from companies. Right, right. There are certain take, people you, you shouldn't take you just shouldn't. money from. Let's get the, rest the law. Of We're running out of show. We want to get this on, and then we got Steve Cap is trying to defend uh, just a few moments ago the videos and the pictures. Well, you mean crap is working with law enforcement. Enforcement on you. some of this because we don't want to create any more heroes or martyrs from so this. Silly. So the material has to be combed through. We will, after examining it, air more of these materials yeah. tomorrow sure. morning on today. Again, a plug, as we so. continue a plug. to go through and analyze what is in this voluminous multimedia package that arrived here at NBC. Like an a multimedia voluminous today. multimedia package. Package. package now available on three discs <laughs> on <laughs> KTL. They just used this killer's material. Material to promo their own property. Yes. No, it's like I was, you know, Robert Smigel that does the cartoons. Yeah. We were watching back when flight. This nobody cares about this anymore. Flight 800. That was a, a uh -huh. jet that that fell off the yeah, it TWA. Went it fell out of the sky into the water. Yeah. And uh, it was awful. All these people died. So then on CNN they had this big um, promo. Ta -da, tonight, Flight 800. Uh, you know what happened and who were the victims and and they were, it was so sensationalized that it was like it's trying to get you to go. Oh, I love Flight 800. Oh, that's my favorite. Thing. That's my favorite show. Did yes. you see Flight 800 last oh, night? That's awesome. I'm yeah. so glad they're doing Flight and, 800 and again. And brought that up. Yeah. They just make it look like it is a TV show. Because oh, now right. now they put the music and the big you know. Dun, 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 yes. No, and every like time that you see somebody talking, like whenever somebody dies and one of their the the people that one of the relatives is on TV talking about how sad it was, mm -hmm. that person was picked up by a town car, driven to a studio, right? They yeah. Put a thing in their ear, yep. a microphone. They said, "Could we get a level from you?" They signed a thing. Yeah. They got powder on their face, a little yeah. makeup, little yeah. hair, and then they, oh, <clears throat> okay, you ready? Oh my God, I'm so sad. <laughs> it's just all phony. It's all showbiz. It's all fake. Here we go, Steve Kappas, uh or Crappus. He should be fired. We should demand this guy gets fired for just lying to the public why he is airing this crap, uh, and now everyone else is. He had, he, that one guy decided. He yeah. could have just said, you know what, no way. No effing way, but here's him trying to defend himself. You turn this material over, but then you, you've got a different decision to make, and this, this is also a big part of the news story. Well, um, sure, I mean, and we had a very long discussion with a number of people all seconds. throughout the organization and with law Well, when you were having these long discussions, did you have something in your ears like... By the way, is he being interviewed by a guy that works for him? Oh, oh, of course he is. He <laughs> that up too, Louis. He's on Fox. You got your, your puppet that is asking the questions that probably he told you. This is a yeah. script. They're working right. off a he, script. He should just be interviewing himself. Right. Yeah. <laughs> should I have done this? Yes. Um, yes. That's an excellent question. I'm going to be asking myself <laughs> the hard questions yeah, today. Right, right. Yes. Listen to the semantics that are used in this, though. Organization and with law enforcement about what to do with the material. Um, they, the, the Virginia State Police asked, uh, or made a reasonable request, which was to not do anything with the material until they had a chance to review it. Uh, so we uh, sat on the material for most of the day. I mean, wow, <laughs> most of what the day. day. Most of the day, wow. not even a day. Oh, God. Went up on, on most of the most day. Most of the most day. Of Okay, all right, now I understand. <laughs> no, they sat on it because they were waiting for the prime time yes. news to start. Yes. You don't want to show Isn't while there's that... soccer moms at home exactly. in front of their TVs. He makes it sound like it's the timing of like when they release national security documents and the government. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put this into cold storage for most of the day. Of the, most of the of day. Of so the that day. only later generations of today. How does this guy have a job? How does he run the news department? <laughs> this, we didn't air this uh, for what amounted to the tens of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many seconds went by. <laughs> we most, and most of the day was spent getting as, uh, as many copies as possible. Yeah, they were doing <laughs> other things during that time to get ready to air it. Yes. Right, we look. have an atomic clock that was <laughs> almost worn out. Yeah, we're we're just By the time we hear Oh, this. God. I mean, as I said, it came into the building at 11 a.m. 
Um, there was one still picture released after the Virginia State Police had a news conference at which they announced that this material existed. What time? And the video didn't air before 6.30 last night. Oh, of course it did. So we seven sat hours. The material all, day the day. Long, uh, all day long. All day long. Sat on how seven hours. How explain these horrible... Oh, then now he's trying to go, he's trying to go, now how, do you, how could he have shot those people? Yeah. Like, now he's trying to, he's off the... Let's deflect uh, away from yeah. the fact that yeah. we're whores. Look, what the we did yeah. is totally understandable, but what he did is... Uh, yeah, I mean, come on. My <laughs> singing wasn't that bad, Simon. Just I mean, it was... <laughs> they never give disclaimers. Just the uh, fact that they are. Yeah, they're, they're volume. They're yeah. panicking. I think, uh, I think, uh, I, I think it's... Backlash, the, backlash. I think the backlash. Media frenzy time, because the rest of the media is... Pile on, pile on. And the rest of the media will have no problem turning this into a frenzy, because they're all pissed that they didn't get the tape. They didn't get it. Yeah. Horrible events. Oh. And oh. this is, I think, as close as we will ever come to being inside the mind of a killer. And, and I thought uh, that it needed to be released. And um, I, I note that pretty much every single uh, news organization all around the world has made the same decision. Uh, <laughs> <that it was laughs> but you, got, you had it in your hand. Examine the contents of the manifesto and so forth. Manifesto. You had it in your hands. You could have actually stopped all of them from airing it. They did it. it. They NBC sent it to it. you. It's, why does it have to say NBC? I know. Yeah. He, must really, he just must be a fan of NBC. He oh, oh, I, while he that, was shooting people, he was going dun, dun, dun. I I hope my, <laughs> just trying to make peacock I, things. I hope you sleep well at night, Mr. Kappas. Uh, Rob Bartley, we don't have time for you. Can you call us tomorrow, buddy? No problem. Uh, Rob Bartley from the Imus uh, Morning Show. Imus from the Morning. We haven't really heard from Rob since the whole thing went down, and he wants to go after Keith Oberman and, and MSNBC. And you're plugging a, a gig. Get the, the plug out, Rob. Yeah, I'm at the uh, UPAC Center in Kingston, April 28th. All right. All right. Definitely call tomorrow, yeah, call man. Tomorrow. Yeah, we, we, we so want to talk to you, up. Rob. All right, boys. All right, thank you, because we're heading over to XM. Jimmy, pre-sale tickets. What's going on? Uh, well, uh, you have to go to a website. You can go to the to our website, uh, or there's a couple of MySpace uh, ones, which I don't have in front of me. Uh, <laughs> MySpace.com slash Opie and Anthony. You can, there's a link there for the pre-sale, which is happening in five minutes, gang. I'm excited. Ooh. Um, for all the gigs. I mean, Louis C.K. is on all the gigs, mm. and uh, I'm on the gigs, mm. and Bob Kelly's on the gigs. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Bob Kelly's... Uh, blown out by the side shoes are on the gigs and Patrice is on the gigs and really fast a message to Buffalo I mean your your team is kicking my team's ass but we really do want to go to Buffalo for this ONA Travel Virus Comedy Tour I think they're starting to get a petition together and, and, and such at the station up there at the edge I know uh I know Shred and Reagan are helping us out. I want to go to Buffalo. Yes. We got to make that happen. And we had such a great time last time we did a we live show in Buffalo. Since then, and uh, we're blowing up in Buffalo, and the tour needs to get to Buffalo. I don't know what we're waiting for. Dairy Lake is is perfect for this uh, for this tour. And tomorrow night, I will be in Chicopee doing one show, because two shows. Well, let's be honest. That wasn't going to happen. <laughs> what? I just wasn't going well. Oh, Chicopee. Right. Very uh, surprising. It's Western Mass, not the Boston Market. So I'll be up there at the Comedy Connection just having a ball. Chicopee. Hey, Louis, Atlanta this weekend. Atlanta Punchline this weekend. Next week, Caroline's uh, in New York City. And also, I, Shameless, my D, uh, uh, HBO special, is out, uh, you can get it on Amazon. Right Very now. cool. Appreciate all right. It. Too many plugs yeah. for the listeners. Yeah. You guys Sorry. figure it all out. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden, they're, they're going to, ah, whatever. Yes, you listen to the replay. Hey, guys, thank you We're so much. Listening. <laughs> we'll see you at XM. If not, you know, have a good day. All right, this show is flying by today. We got Louis Louis C.K. joined us for the walk over to XM, and uh, as we're sitting waiting to start the second half of the show, uh, we're watching TV, and we got the grieving mothers, you know, talking to the media, and mm. we're trying to figure out what would motivate a parent to go on. CNN, yeah, Fox. Cry, cry openly on, on beautifully three-point lighted television. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three-point lighted. You know, with the yeah. makeups. They had to yeah. sit in a makeup chair, and yes. the makeup bars had to say something like, wow, I'm really sorry about yeah. what like happened. The, oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, all the little small talk. Her hair yeah. was done. She was wearing, yes. like, earrings and yes. lipstick and, and a, like... 
She had to pick out her TV outfit today. Of course yeah, she yeah. Did. What am I going to wear on TV? Yeah, it's not like someone uh, tapped her on the shoulder and said, "Hey, you want to talk about it?" Oh my goodness, no. She had to make an arrangement and show yeah. up. Somebody fed a microphone up her shirt. Could you? Do you mind? Someone had to giggle and go, "Do you mind?" Yeah, yeah. Your shirt. I don't okay, want to molest flip it you. On <laughs> here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Left on the mic. Why, Does why that come would you down do to that? your desire to always have attention? Like, I mean, I you're distracted. Like, your your kid died. It's an awful thing. And yeah, like Louis said, the phone's ringing, and you actually have to like put your hand over the receiver and go, "It's it's MSNBC." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I've seen that guy. Probably but Williams is like, hot. How do you just mm. not fucking unplug the phone? How do you not tell yeah. any news media that calls you, get the you know what? fuck off of my fucking phone? Let's, you know, you got to think. There's some uh, parents that got the exact same phone call and go and said, go fuck oh, yourself. Yeah, there has to be. There has yeah, you to don't be. see, you know. Like, I remember watching in Boston years ago, some kid in Medford or one of those awful shit neighborhoods Medford. in Boston. <laughs> fucking Medford. Somewhere <laughs> next to the fucking airport next to Logan. <laughs> over by the Sumner Tunnel. All those fucking cunts up there. <laughs> so some girl was killed. And it was one of those houses where there's just chain link fences and mm. uh, just death and you know <laughs> bummer you can bummer just, you just feel death yeah a bunch of people depression like, no one cares you ever yeah. so yeah, some man. some girl dies and uh, and her brother's on uh, the news and he looks into the camera because he knows he's on his sister just died that day yeah and he goes I hope justice is served I hope it's served soon and hash. And hash. And he said it really, and even the reporter looked like, yeah, dude, you know, uh, calm down. You're weird. Yeah. Served You're soon and hash. Yeah, people really love the idea that they're going to get to be the, be the victim on TV. And she cried, not even like putting her hand over her eyes, just tears. Gushing. Yeah, that's a weird uh, whole. Uh, yeah. I, you know, I, I don't you know. know goes, I don't know what concept. goes through your head. Just once, don't you want to be a parent and see a parent on TV cry about something like that and just go? I'm just thanking God it wasn't my youngest because I do love her more. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> just to see something so bizarre, something on so out of the ordinary. Yeah. yeah. So, like but, a bad flight no, it's or something. Just weird. I'm <laughs> sorry, but it's like you what know could, what, what could possibly come out of it that's positive. Unless, Nothing. Unless you're like using the media to make some kind of stand and try no. to get changes made and how they handle this stuff and how to, how they prepare for this so it maybe doesn't happen again. Then maybe. That's but not. I, I'm not that, hearing that. I'm just no. hearing like, oh, my daughter was an yeah. honor student and like I would. J I, I can't imagine I would ever do that. No, I can't imagine. In a million years. What Fucked up people's kids get killed sometimes. Is it their way yeah. of dealing with the situation? I mean, I'm sorry That's for the. Every, I'm it. sorry exactly for the 32 people that were killed. And the, by the way, the 19 injured who were like, "Hi, I can't yeah. walk anymore." Excuse me. I'm kind of interesting too. Injured doesn't mean I fucking like cut my finger <laughs> yeah, here. It means my fucking hello. Yeah. They just, I have bullet holes in yeah. me, or my legs are smashed from yeah. jumping out a window. Oh, yeah. they just sawed off my leg. Yeah. yeah. It's a, a drag. Civil war injury. Someone got their leg cut off. <laughs> well, I don't know. Oh, I, I'm taking the guy that. <laughs> I'm so vul I'm so gullible. Well, the guy that had the injury to the artery in the leg, that's never good. Hope he so, saw a know. Union soldier just getting his legs <laughs> sawed off as <laughs> they put leeches on it <laughs> with a strap in his mouth. <laughs> yeah, and he's biting down on his wallet. Son. <laughs> and I'm fascinated by all this media coverage no, and why amazing. people do what they do. Hey, Jimmy, so what's the pre-sale? I mean, we can, well, they we can save this a little bit today. Yeah, the pre-sale. We messed up big time. Well, yes, we didn't. Uh, I'm going to say meaning Greg, uh, James, and Ant, if I may. Hey, the mm. buck stops here. Yeah, it now. certainly does, but take the buck and stick it up your mother's cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Have to kind of roll it up, and make it. Stiff enough <laughs> no, you know, not your mother. But now no. on your fence, <laughs> drop it in and watch it flutter down <laughs> to the bottom. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'm also here. And pre-sale ends at ten. We didn't tell people that either. Uh -oh. well, why would we know that? We we just don't have our. Let's get Pete on the phone. Uh, Pete sent to? the right email. That email was Kenny. Oh, Kenny's out. The email Kenny showed me, I will show you, was uh. It had it. that you have to click on on the uh, go to opianthony.com, click on the banner. Uh, I think they've moved it up. Apparently it was on the bottom of the page, but now it's been moved up for the uh, on the page. Didn't give out the real info. Mm -hmm. Don't even know that the pre-sale is only an hour. Uh, we're we're just a terrific organization. We're 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 firing on all cylinders. Yeah, I don't know what's going on and why we're, we are our fucking. Uh, I don't know why this is so hard for everyone to kind of get on board with. It's a pre-sale. Give us the info and we'll mention it. Uh, OpianEthnic.com I did mention, but the way it was worded on the paper I had was all, oh, all information is at OpianEthnic.com. I'm giving out information. That's like saying we can hear the same ship, just go there. Um, but why would people do that when tickets are always on Ticketmaster? Yeah. And I'm telling you, uh, 9 a.m., so you go to Ticketmaster. No. 
You got to go to uh, go to myspace.com slash Opie and Anthony or go to uh, Opie and Anthony dot com. And on the front page, it will say pre-sale and you click on it. And now, uh, Opie, this is the first I've heard of it. <clears throat> it's from my uh, my friend here. says it's uh, only an hour. Only till so, 10 a.m. Yeah. So that's good. More information that we didn't have until... Um, Five seconds ago, <laughs> nine twenty. Okay. Yeah, nine twenty. Well, and who um, knows what else is? Uh, maybe, I, maybe there's another piece of information yes. that's being withheld. And you can still. only and you can only get these tickets if you can prove that you have not consorted with any non-whites in the last thirty days. <laughs> so what you're saying is, tickets, uh, pre-sale tickets, will be available for most of the day. For all, most of the day. <laughs> most of hey. the day. Uh, forty minutes. Hey. <laughs> hey, great observation, Ed in Dallas. Go ahead. Well, every time Louis C.K. is on the show, within the first five minutes of XM, drops the cunt word. Of course. And it takes him about a minute. And why not? Of course. <laughs> I love it. And why not, a my friend? A cunt is the greatest word that was ever called Hold to on. a cunt. I'm on speaker phone, Pete. <laughs> All right, now, Pete, I love I'm, when everyone like, well, tries to defend call themselves now. Cunt. Can you hear me? This could be a great... This is going to turn out to be a Women. Cool. Um, <laughs> uh, like, uh, Pete says, uh, Pete, you're on the air. Do you want to straighten this right out? Yeah, the pre-sale started this morning at 9 o'clock. It's mm. through a company called Music Today. You can mm. get the link on opianthony.com. Mm. The pre-sale goes into at least 5 o'clock tonight. They oh. be extended That's a little sweet. bit. And that's, that's pretty much all the details you need. Wait, hold on. Now, where did... Opie just said, because he was told uh, that it ends at 10 a.m. Where did, where did we hear that? Uh, just I'm some dumb caller that I assume that had the right info. <laughs> <laughs> I'm You're guilty too. Info Hold on. From the caller. Opie just got his info from the fucking multimedia manifesto <laughs> of a caller. The guy said 10 with something, and he thought that that was in the pre sale ended. All right, so the pre sale is going until 5? It goes until 5 o'clock. There's right. not a lot of tickets available uh, for each city. So it's only, they can only get there for Okay, and what do, you, what do you think about what do you, what do you, uh, what do you think about the uh, tickets actually going on sale tomorrow? I think about them. I mean, like, they're going on sale at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, and what markets, a lot of stuff. They go on we already know. Shut up. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was all revved up. See, that's how you get Pete talking. You just ask him about fucking dates and ticket sales, and yeah. he'll just fucking go. Uh, He's in a lather. All right, so that's good news. We wait till 5 o'clock. All yes. right, so you could uh, go to opianthony.com <laughs> and click on that link, and you'll get some tickets. Oh. Hey, uh, Mark in Jersey, go ahead. Hey, how are you guys doing? Good. All, All right. right. Welcome aboard. So All right. So uh, I just uh, wanted to tell you, a friend of mine was... Sir, Opie was trying to talk. It don't matter. Go ahead, Opie. It's your gig. Fuck this guy. No That's, offense, sir. It, it doesn't matter. All right. A friend of mine was killed as a firefighter in the Bronx last summer. Right. And uh, the reporters, of course, descended upon the parents' house mm -hmm. trying to get the exclusive story. Mm -hmm. And the parents didn't want anything to do with uh, anybody coming in the house talking to them. Completely devastated. And it got to the point where one of the reporters actually posed as a flower girl to uh, get herself in the house to talk to them. Uh, and uh, it actually got to the point where some of the brothers took matters into their own hands. And uh, after we detonated a fire extinguisher in the back of a news van, they got the message they weren't welcome. What did they do in the back of a news van? Detonated a fire Detonated extinguisher. Detonated a fire extinguisher. Now, let me ask you a question. What was the reporter's name who posed... What was the network? She posed as a flower girl. Who is she? Well, I don't want to get anybody in trouble. Yeah, uh, we might, wouldn't we, you we, What do you mean you don't want to get somebody in trouble? I don't know if we can confirm this. Yeah, know, we could get in trouble. It, I wouldn't it, it, be like... They're, just, they're relentless. We could, we could, absolutely we could, relentless. All right, it's, you made your point. Just his you, story. If we knew it was true, if then we gives a name, great. then <gasps> we could be liable. We're actually smart broadcasters. Okay. People don't know that. I'd we, love we to give out the name. I don't care if it's true or not. I am a dumb cunt. she was probably a cunt. That's right. Hey, could you give her if it wasn't her, whoever we name was probably a cunt, too. Absolutely. Cunt. I kill rich cunt. What is that? <laughs> That's a great That's clip. A Goldblum. That is, uh, yeah, Jeff Goldblum from his uh, first Independence movie. Day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Independence yes. Day. He didn't like the way fucking Judd Hirsch was playing such a fucking mocky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's from uh, Death Wish. He played one hey, of the oh, um, yeah, okay. thugs with the That's Jughead right. hat on. Hey, <laughs> uh, Jughead hat. Well, we were doing the walkover, which we probably should have broadcasted today. Uh, Louis C.K. was telling us uh, a horrific oh, flying Jesus. story. We told our little story, which now sounds like a cute little airplane ride, <laughs> yes. uh, when we had to fly in during the storms into a Newark airport. After our Vegas show. After the yes. Vegas show. And it was, it was quite the bimpy ride on the way yes. in. Uh, we hit that wall of clouds, and then it was nothing but 
pure whiteout clouds until we broke through. I, the ceiling was probably at 800 feet. Mm -hmm. Well, Louis flew an airline I would not fly. Really? No. United? Mm -hmm. I don't fuck with United. Why? Exactly for the reason. Because, be because they're fucking cunts. That sounds like a take the bull by the horns pilot, though. That's the kind of guy I like. Because I was sitting there in the airport saying, uh, uh, what happened to us was we, we got on the plane. They loaded up first class. So we were sitting there drinking a drink. Sipping. Sipping. And uh, they start boarding, you know, last class, as Kenny likes to call it. <laughs> and uh, all of a sudden they get an announcement. Uh, could you get up and leave the plane? Uh, there's a, now a delay. See, right. I thought they were Weather. just talking to coach people. Exactly. Because they smell the joint up. Right, because you get out, because we don't want you in here while we're waiting. <laughs> but uh, they told everybody to get off the plane. Please get off gonna the be a plane, delay. because it's funny to us. <laughs> we want to watch you get off <laughs> yeah, and back on. Exactly. So they made us all get off the plane. Yeah. Because of delay, because of the weather. Right. Then uh, they tell us it's going to be, you know, like a, a, an hour or two. Yeah. And meanwhile, ten minutes later or so, they go, "All right, back on. We got a window." Yeah, get out, get back in, on. get everyone in. back on. So we all run back on the plane. Yeah. And during that time, though, I say, you know, I want a guy, I want a pilot, a man yeah. that go that that has been in wars that just goes, you know, something. Fuck this. Yeah. I've flown in this shit before. We're going for it. <laughs> right. Well, that's what I have. And just there, you have that. See? Yeah, no, sometimes you get a pilot who says stuff like, I had a pilot once who said, uh, you know, we're not, they're not letting us take off. LA's locking down because of the weather there, but I anticipate that it'll clear up by the time we get there. So I'm actually telling them we're going to Las Vegas. I've had a pilot say this, and then we'll reroute. How, like, well, you're lying to the you're fucking lying. power. <laughs> Don't lie to them. Uh, control, we're going yes. to, um,. Las Vegas, <laughs> Colorado, <laughs> Nevada, Nevada, Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah. Well, we might, we might take a turn somewhere before that. So. We play what we're going to Las Vegas. Las Guardia. But so this guy, we're sitting at the gate waiting, and then he said, actually, the delay isn't because of the weather. It's because the fuel gauge is broken on the plane. Of course, it is a hunk of shit airline. You know, so, but we, we had somebody. The, they still have the ashtrays in the bathrooms. Yeah, I, mean, nice. I mean, yes. that's, that's why, exactly. that's that's why I, equipment is old. That's why I can't fly United. I had to once, and I saw, like, <laughs> ashtrays they still didn't take out of the bathroom, which means, wow, this plane's pretty old. And then they had, like, a razor dispenser or something. Yeah, you could actually right? get a razor blade you on You could the shave. <laughs> yes. Right? Here in the plane, you yeah. can shave if you want. The miracle of modern flight. Yes. Fucking nice. Light up a lucky strike and join us yes. on a transcontinental flight <laughs> with no stops. It's the miracle. As soon as I saw the old ashtrays, and it might not have been United, but yeah. it was some airline. I'm like, it was a white knuckler all the way. Yes, and the seats have the that kind of 60s Mike yeah. Brady yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of uh, yeah. pattern on them. Yeah. Oh, great. If, what, if what the seats are old, how old is the engine, really? <laughs> exactly. You're going to tell me they... they Replace them, great. That's still yeah. not going to give me comfort. But <laughs> contact, <Yeah>. uh, contact. <laughs> yeah, the engines are made from space age polymers. <laughs> yes. So the guy says the fuel gauge is broken, but we filled up the tanks. We topped them off, and we had someone climb up and look in the tank. That's oh, what you do God. when you, you have a wanna, motorcycle. And you don't want to know. Yeah, exactly. You don't want to know that there's a dude. You want to think that something really weird and scientific is. Right. It's like a dude looked Some in the Some guy wing. looked. I hope that dude is not a fucking idiot. Like, now I have to hope. Well, you hope he has depth <laughs> perception. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Or, and hoping he's not just just hung over like yeah. Oh yeah, I checked. Uh, exactly. Like, did you check the wing? I fucking of checked. Of course yeah. I did. Shut up, you. Fuck all those people on the plane. But since they tell me there's a little like minor thing like that's broken, I'm like, it, what else is broken on the plane? Yeah, exactly. And usually when your car breaks down, it's not one thing. All of a sudden, everything yep. is breaking at the same time. But here's time, the right? thing. This was like a little time release capsule of terror that he left with us because <laughs> he sure. said he said this is no problem because we know we have more than enough fuel to get there. Sure. Because it's full. That would be more than we need, and we can even circle for a little while with that amount of fuel. So then we get to LaGuardia and we're circling and circling and circling and then he says, we've only got 20 minutes worth of fuel left. How the fuck does he know that the when the figure? fuel gauge is broken? Yeah. Yes. 
He did a math problem in his head. Probably. He did it. Yeah. He did it through time. But look, he, he's saying he knows how many hours you can fly on a certain amount of fuel. Yeah. But if maybe there's more stress on the engine when it's get when it's going through nice bad weather. Head wind. If he's five minutes off, we're gonna drop from the sky like a <laughs> set of fucking car keys. Avianca did that. Yeah. Right into Long Island. Yeah. So so he goes. Uh, we got 20 minutes of fuel left. So and Laguardia is uh, you know trying to shut down, but it's minute to minute. So we're gonna go ahead and make an approach to Laguardia Airport. And as we get closer, if it gets bad, <laughs> we'll divert and use the last of our fuel to land in Allentown, Pennsylvania. We have enough fuel to do exactly that maneuver. Oh, my so, God. So then he starts coming in. We'll divert to a place where there's lots of we'll big divert. open fields where innocent <laughs> people won't be killed. <laughs> we will divert to the, yeah. fucking, to the, to, you know, to the Verrazano Narrows. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, one thing uh, you won't have to worry about is uh, fire. There is no fuel left in the tanks. <laughs> yes, uh, exactly. We are doing 500 miles an hour, but yes. uh, you won't burn. Thank no. you. But so he he starts coming, and we start dropping down into the clouds, and it's the ugliest fucking... I mean, the clouds are yellow and brown out yeah, the window. Yeah, it was nasty. Well, you and were listening water, to him, right? Yeah, and so me and the guy next to me, the fucking two idiots, we put on the headphones and listen to the channel that you can listen to the tower. You can listen to your plane talking yep. to the tower. And so he says to United 266, we're making an approach, we're making an approach. And then we hear LaGuardia Tower say, do not land 266. The, the winds are far too heavy. This is not, it's not safe for landing. We're, we're shutting down. Don't go, divert right now. How do you not pull the headphones off and just yeah. make believe you didn't hear yeah. it? Like, and the guy says, we can't divert now. We're only, we have only four minutes tops of fuel left. Holy. So we have to come in. Oh. God. And the tower is saying it's not a good idea, but go ahead because All what right. else are you going to do? Give it a shot. Give it a shot, and, Jim. All right, hot <laughs> shot. And, and right at that moment, the stewardess comes up to you. Would you like to have some coffee? <laughs> yeah, yes, no exactly. clue. Smiling. <laughs> yeah, no, the flight attendants are all strapped in and invisible. They're nowhere to be seen. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm holding on like it's going to help. I'm holding on to my fucking window, like the edges of the window. <laughs> just like, just in my uh. fit. I'm stamping my foot just uncontrollably. Wow, you are fucking scared Well, because we're dropped. We keep Dropping and the and the once the the uh, the uh, the landing gear goes down and there's all that drag on the plane. Yeah. The thing is pitching and rolling and making impossible banks to the left and right. I mean, it's like a oh, fucking man. like a joke. And we're going and the woman there's a woman behind us holding two children screaming and sobbing, literally, <laughs> literally going, "Oh my god." Oh my God! She's doing exactly that. That's the soundtrack for everyone on the plane. Oh my God, that's horrible. And she's got tears bursting like she's on a fucking train to fucking Auschwitz. <laughs> no, my God, we're gonna die! She's saying her kids oh, with her. Shit. She's saying we're gonna die to her kids. She's telling oh, her kids they're gonna bad die. Bad fucking task. Yeah, and for the flight, the pilot sounding stressed. On the even more than I've heard black box recorders, Ooh, and the pilot oh, is like no. sounds like he's smoking a cigarette till the second before. Um, he's like, we only have four minutes of fuel. We have, we can't divert. Like he sounded like that. You just so, nobody, You probably thought you were watching a movie. Oh no! Like, it was like, like wow, this is why, great. Why wouldn't this be death? If I wasn't on this why? plane, this, this would be, be great awesome. to listen to. This is well directed. <laughs> yeah, I love this movie. I love the woman in the back seat. <laughs> she was awesome. And we drop out of the clouds, and we see where we are. We are so close to those fucking Queens housing projects that uh -huh. are in the X shape. Yep. Like it's like the nightmares you have. If we were to, if the if the wing were to tip over, we'd hit. You're the hitting it. And we're going. I've gone over those housing projects thousands of times. I fly all the time. We're going so fucking fast. We're flying like phew, we're just shooting over oh, Queens. Man. And every, even the most Texan tough guy passengers that were on, from Denver that were on that plane are like, whoa, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, Shut up. Hey, hey, oh! Hey. And we just—it was so bad that when I just to jump ahead for a second, when I got in the cab, uh, uh, the guy said, the cabbie said, I saw that plane coming. That looked bad. Like cabbies on the they ground just were watching that us one because we're the only assholes in. that fucking land. No one else was coming in, <laughs> and so we're coming in, and the plane is looks. I mean, I, I'm convinced we're hitting the BQE. We're gonna just whatever it is, and we hit the ground so fucking hard. And my heart is racing, and I had tears in my eyes, just like just involuntary. Wow! Just tears coming down my face, like what are these? And the pilot says, "Ladies and gentlemen, you are free to turn on your cell phones and call your loved ones." And every single person 
with the phone was the whole plane was chatter of like Holy you wouldn't believe what shit. just happened to me, honey. I thought I was gonna die, and I looked at my phone oh, no. and I thought about calling my wife, and I was like, "Fuck her!" <laughs> I didn't call her. <laughs> <laughs> fuck her! I thought I was just about to die, but. Fuck her. Fuck. You Why? call like a friend. I don't hey, dude, hear. you never guess what the yeah, fuck no, just exactly. happened. Because I know it would have been like, honey, I thought I was going to die. Oh, that's awful. Did you, uh, are you, what time are you getting in? Uh, Why are you so Why was tomorrow morning are you going to let me sleep in? Well, honey, I just thought Why I was going to die. Well, fuck you. What the fuck? <laughs> Why didn't that story get out? That's obvious. I don't know. He, he, he really should be fired. He should be fucking fired. It was really oh, bad. The pilot. Bad the pilot? I think what happened was that he had enough time to do what he thought. He, but then the tower sent him through an approach that took longer than it took he expected. Longer. It's just what happened with Avianca. They they were flying around, and that was a language barrier too. They were, they didn't declare an emergency. Uh, they declared something that was just under an emergency. Yeah. So they kept diverting them from airport to airport and making them circle. And the plane ran out of fucking gas. Yep. And the the people that survived the crash were like, all of a sudden you hear this silence. And all you hear is the wind yep. whooshing over the wings. Uh. Whoosh, whoosh, no more. And you know how how the, the, the noise of the engines kind of cancels out noise in the cabin. Yeah, no. You hear suddenly. everything. Yeah. You hear the people in the back fucking row if you're in yeah. first class, yeah. and just. Yeah. And the and they crashed into the woods. Yep. No fire, no explosion. Just no, cracking and what, trees and fucking, you yeah. know. A lot of people when live because no, of that. Those, right on, kind of near where I live. No, no, when? When you run oh, out when? of fuel oh. on, a, on a plane. Well, maybe it's longer not like when now. you run out of gas longer, on a 15. car. When you run out of gas on a car, you can actually like use the starter motor to get it a little Yeah, yeah, yeah can, right. You can kind of keep sputtering. But on a plane, it's just, it's <laughs> And gone. you can stop and get the fuck out yes. no matter where you but are in a car. How did the dudes, because he told us that he couldn't be sure how much fuel there was on the plane before we left. Right. He said, we know the gauges are wrong. But we're going to go anyway because we've seen the gas. So then you bet it. Well, then you know something? But when you get that close, you go, let's fucking land now. You might even be able to justify that if you're going from point A to point B without any problems. That's if fine. If you're going into weather yeah. where you're going to have to circle. And when you're now, talking now about you we have that. four minutes. Four minutes. Four minutes left. How if fast is that four minute minutes? you off, you're dead, and Holy he has shit. no gauge. That four minutes is not four minutes in a dentist no. chair. Yeah. No. That four minutes is four minutes on yeah. on a roller coaster. See, all <laughs> of our pilots now. Fucking, all of our pilots are Vietnam combat tested by, by mm. pilots, but they're also fucked up Vietnam vets that <laughs> yeah. kind of don't give a shit. They see yeah, some shit. Yeah. That, uh, they just yeah. think you're a bunch of faggots whining on the yeah, back. Of the all plane. you people that call me a baby killer, uh, <laughs> uh, we're going in. Yeah. It was uh, 1990. Mm. Mm. I'll be honest. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, why don't we take a break and continue? That's uh, that's that's it's a fucking awful. That's a great. That is a story. harrowing experience. <laughs> Worst flight ever for you, I guess, right? Easily. I mean, yeah. I'm on a fucking platinum and 15 yeah, different airlines. I fly a million miles constantly. probably. Yeah. I fly through bad weather all the. I mean, I I sleep through it. I don't give a shit. I yeah. actually have often turned to people around me on planes that look scared and said, "I've seen this. This is nothing. Don't worry." About it. I don't care. I like flying. The lady behind me, by the way, I was, I even, I kept yelling back, we're okay! Like, I kept yelling at her. I was we're going to be myself. okay! We're going to be okay! We're going to be okay! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking torture. Oh, there man. There was something about... Worst thing I ever went through. There was something about flying on Sunday, because you could feel it in the air when we were in uh, Vegas, we're getting ready to go. We're like, oh, I think this one's going to be a bad one today, It was man. tense, because we also have flown in a lot of bad weather, but nothing like uh, this past Sunday. It got so fucking quiet in the cabin when we were yeah. bouncing around mm -hmm. in, the, in the clouds. And uh, Patrice turns around and goes, I just want to, and, and to all of us, he goes kind of loud, he goes, I just want to tell you, I, I love you all. <laughs> and then turns back around, and the second we landed, he went, look, I, it got a little crazy back there, I got a little scared, Yeah, you know. Don't mean nothing by it. No. And then they canceled 500 flights after we landed. So. Yeah. yeah. They were but pretty much close the talking about the, the jostling around and yeah. shaking and, and the plane kind of doing those. Boom. And I was looking out the window at the wing. Yeah. And you can anticipate what's going to happen in the fuselage by watching the wingtip. Yeah. So you can anticipate the bumps. Yes. So you watch the wingtip. And, the man, it's just it's moving like... The, the wings are flapping. Yeah. I'm on a fucking, on a goose. like, an 1800s <laughs> guy's idea of a flying machine. Bo -dum, where the bo -dum, fucking, bo -dum, yeah, bo -dum. where the wings flap and like he jumps off a rock and he yeah. crashes. <laughs> like that guy's plane. It's yeah. going to drop a baby into a chimney <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> but you t you taught us that those wings <laughs> could, like, touch. I've seen uh, wind, wind tunnel tests and yeah. turbulence tests where the, oh, the wingtips mm. just about touch on Jesus. top. But they, can, I, they can bend, but you don't ever want to see them moving like that. Anthony and I had eye contact 
because we were both doing the same thing, looking out the window like, hello, where's the yeah. ground? Yeah. We've been approaching for like 40 <laughs> minutes, yeah. and Ant's looking at me, and then we're both looking out the window like... And then finally, when you saw the ground, finally, we were so, it was amazing a, how close we were. Yeah. A piece of ground come out, yeah. and we were low, and I looked it over going, did you see the ground? He goes, yeah, I just saw the ground. <laughs> and, and then I'm going, I see more ground. He goes, yeah, it's good. I go, we better start seeing runway, though, because yeah, yeah. it's getting yes. really low. No, but when you hit the ground in flights like that, the instant the wheels touch the ground, you're like, I don't care what else happens to me. Yeah, we life. can skid off of the fucking runway. <laughs> I don't care if What's some com country, if Iran yeah. invades tomorrow yeah. and uh, starts sodomizing me daily. I made it through I'm that. On the, ground. <laughs> on the ground. When the wheels hit, it's like that for two, maybe three mm -hmm. seconds, you're you stop breathing yes and wait for that quick slowdown and, and then you like oh, accelerate and then, and then, like, and then yeah. you feel it instantly like oh okay we're good yeah get on the phone call and yeah. then you then just you get start worrying about whatever bullshit <laughs> you uh, just get broadsided by a 747 yeah. coming in at 500 <laughs> miles an hour hey we met <laughs> what Jesus. the uh, what we're happened gonna, we're going to break and uh and i guess uh, we don't need uh, bad Flight story today, Louis C.K. Oh, we just one. heard the topper. Louis C.K. What happened, the Jimmy? One more. What, what happened, Jim? I was uh, I was flying to L.A. actually, mm. and uh, it was after breakfast, and uh, my cinnamon roll <laughs> didn't have as much frosting oh. as the cinnamon roll on the person next to me. Who is it? What were the fuckers? Hmm? It's awful. You must have been panicking. Yeah. I had to ring the bell twice <laughs> to get my tomato juice. <laughs> <laughs> Tom in Tennessee, what's up? Hey, morning, boys. What's going on? Hey, hey um, I worked on jets for nine and a half years, and the pilot told Louie a flat-out lie. You cannot look at the gas in the plane. Really? Everything is sealed. They would have had to bring out major tools to open the tanks up. The whole jet. Is a big ass fuel tank in the wings, the belly, everything. Right. No, you know what? That makes sense because it's not like when you fill up a jet, you just fucking. St it's not like a motorcycle. You just stick yeah. the nozzle between your legs. I just that when you kind of tip when it you around to make it hear the sloshing. When you told me that, all I thought of was a scene in um, uh, The Great Escape when Steve McQueen takes the gas cap off and shakes the bike a little yeah, bit, yeah. and then <laughs> rah, 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 takes off again. It's like all, when all it, they did was the wing did sealed was up. Yeah. All they did was rely on the fuel truck. Asking him how much he had in the truck and how much he has left. Oh, God, oh, so somebody's doing, like, a seventh-grade math problem. And let me tell you, they never top the tanks off. No, they don't. Because they only, it would be, um, it's not fuel efficient. Right. They put in enough gas they, as they need to get from point A to point B yep. and then some extra for circling. Yep. But you, if you fill your tank up, you're just hauling more weight. Yep. So uh, they had personnel. just enough. <laughs> Thanks, pal. That's, that makes Four really minutes worse. is frightening. This, yes. is, this is really funny. Steve on Long Island, go ahead. I just wanted to relate a quick story. When I was back in, uh, going back to college upstate, um, we took a Cessna up there, and we, we got some ice on our wings. Uh-oh. And I looked down, bro, and we weren't moving. And all of a sudden, my, I look at the pilot, and I go, are we going to go down? And he didn't answer, and my buddy in the back goes, we're all going to die! <laughs> it was the sickest shit what I happened? My life. And we were going backwards because of all the ice on the wings, man. Oh, it was scary. going backwards. <laughs> <laughs> it might have looked that way, sir. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like a piece of paper. All right. He's and fluttering then a giant, down. A dragon came along. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Plucked us out of the That's sky. Right. Don't call the show again. You should have hit a mountain, you cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny, can I help you? Yeah. Yes, can I say something? I guess. If someone will make your mic work. Go, Ken, go. Yes, it was oh, brought to my attention the that the... Uh, the mic hold on, working. the mic's not on. Why would it work? What would be the reason for that? Except for... Dude, Dan, the, the mic's on. Are you plugged in? Oh. Hello? No, okay. No, now the mic's not on because you gave me a I'm mic. hearing some kind of bassy... Yes? This no. This is the best part of the show. Yes. Yes. Incompetent. <laughs> All right. Doesn't sound like as loud as me. All right. It's I not on. <laughs> I'm not even fucking with you. It's uh, not on. Is, is this a bit? I can't hear it. His you hear him fine, on. Derek? Are you guys fucking with me? I am no. I swear uh, to God, I do not hear him. I don't hear him either. Give me the I'm signal when we're doing a bit. Him, do you hear him? I swear I, to God, I, I don't hear him. Test. Am I Wait a minute. What the? You, you don't? Test. I'm the only one that hears him? I don't. Test. Look, I don't hear him in my head. To prove it. Testing. I hear him. Testing one two. Hello. I hear him through the outside. Hello, it's Club oh Soda God, Kenny. Is that? Right? I can hear him totally. I can't. Hear. Club I can't Soda hear him. Kenny. The fuck, Mars? Club yeah, Soda Kenny. Mars will fix it. 
Of course he Marzen. will. Well, he'll do it. Club Club Kenny. Now we so, right. so he was on the whole time, but I was the only one that could hear him. Now right? I hear it. Well, oh. the listeners got more Kenny, which That's they love. More Kenny equals you, more Mars. entertainment. Right. Well, I'll, I'll keep it short it was, and sweet. This, this is, remember the old days? It was EXT1. Ah. Uh. Was it A or B? That is, that's going that's back. That's an old bit. It, oh, it was, uh, yeah. It's always B. I forgot all about that until just <laughs> now. Anyway, that's one for the old schoolers. Go ahead, Kenny. I, I just wanted to say real quickly, it was brought to my attention that the Mohican Sun pre-sale tickets are all gone. Wow. So so let's blow out the rest of the pre-sale tickets. How and many do they have for sale? 20? Five You're a regular a fucking cheerleader, Kenny. I love it. How many? So let's yeah. blow out the rest. Yeah, yeah. Come on, That's people. Right. Let's Come do on. what we got to do. It's, uh, it's actually... Uh, what is it? 500 a, a venue is going a thousand. on sale? Or 1,000. Yeah, there, there, there's enough. It's it's special tickets for our special fans, special seats mm -hmm. for at, uh, for the special occasion. So it's special. <laughs> Everything's special, right. yeah. So let's, uh, guys, we got a few special. more minutes in that pre-sale. Tickets going no, like, uh, now I'm here at 5 o'clock, Jimmy. Um, yeah. What am I talking about? God, am I dumb? Yeah, but just, <laughs> we just will never it's just a special right offer for our special fans. So click on the website or the MySpace <laughs> and get the pre-sale tickets. That's right. And you'll get better seats than the normal people. We That's got, right. We got these special <laughs> sales manifest. Do we got <laughs> was we got, a manifesto. We got cheap tickets for the the poor listeners. Yeah, in, in the bigger venues they get the uh, the standing room only. All right, cool. Yeah. All That's right. Awesome. So I just wanted to say that to make everybody. All oh, those happy. people won't heckle. No, no. <laughs> just standing yeah, for hours. Yeah, but they're so far away you can't even hear them heckling. Right. Exactly. Yeah. All right, Kenny. Thank All you. right, have a nice day anyway. Thank you. All right, good. Well, Mohegan Sun. Club Soda Candy, everybody. Club Soda Candy. Apparently, the uh, pre sale tickets sold out, according to Club Soda. Very anyway. interesting. What do you guys say? I am so glad this is the last casino we're playing, though. Yeah. You're going to go broke, bro. It's it's costing me yeah, money every gig. I can't do those either. Oh, boy, every gig. Yeah. Hey, so we got yeah. audio of a father and brother uh, going okay. on Larry King Live to talk about her... Yeah, see, they went into the studios at CNN in Atlanta. Oh. If they're on Larry King Live, they went in. Are they there live or are they talking? Or did they go either way? The they got they got driven somewhere, taken in. Yeah, mic'd. Had to go know? through all the showbiz part of all the this, news. Oh Jesus! Wow, that is mic checks yeah, and making sure the lighting's right and the hold off the commercial, the hold off the commercial. All, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, can you uh, can you hear somebody real friendly? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. Uh, could you hold off on your despair because we got to get fit a, a few commercials in? Oh, Jesus we got to promote Larry King's 50th anniversary. Keep on it, yeah, exactly. All right. <laughs> we're we're going to yeah. be talking in a meeting. Week? The meeting that they had beforehand. Yeah. All right. Remember it, guys. Keep it keep it light before we go to air. So don't get her upset. Keep it light, like yeah, exactly. how you're doing, and then once we hit the air, then ask her the questions that are going to get her crying. No, and also they do. We, if you work in any, t t like work, I worked at Conan. I know exactly what they're doing. They have a segment producer that calls and says, "What are you willing to say? And what what are your yeah. feelings are you about comfortable it?" Comfortable talking, so about. that they know the talking points because they can't just ramble. Yeah, it's only a few yeah. minutes. So what are you talking? What do you tell me some things about him? And will you cry when you say that? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Well, when can we expect the tears? Yes. Cause that's called, Are like, you like, willing the big to payoff. say gun toting chink on the air? Because <laughs> if Larry could, we would feed really, you. you know, we could work off of that. Yeah, <laughs> gun toting chink. <laughs> yes, you know. Oh, thank you. Oh, Lou, that's insane. Thank you, thank you, uh, Pasty Crinkle. Pasty Crinkle. He's uh, writing from three hours in the past. Hey, Ope, listening to tape show of this morning, and want to let you know that I caught the deep reference about uh, diving for morphine. Thank oh, you. Oh, the deep. Wow. You were talking about morphine. And I'm didn't like, even hear it. You're like, well, Jimmy said, can you I get that? I heard that you say that, and I didn't know what it meant. I, I probably didn't see the movie. I thought it was uh, like the morphine grows under the ocean. I was so dumb. No, the deep. <laughs> that's what they were diving for was the oh, morphine. Oh, little tiny bottles of morphine. Thank you. It was very <laughs> obscure, and I'm like, oh, boy, I bombed horribly. But I didn't know. I think it was a serious factor giving out. No, no. no. I, I don't know morphine what was facts. I, what do you I You think know? morphine comes from the bottom Dude, of the ocean? I, said, I didn't say I was uh, a fucking medical student. As a kid. <laughs> you don't have to be a medical student. As a kid, that opening scene was 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 hardcore porn. <laughs> oh yeah. What was her name? Just uh, diving in the the wet t-shirt. That, that was when she was hot. That was when she was hot. Holy shit! The opening scene of that movie. I remember that when I was a, a kid. Though, it came right right after Jaws. Jaws. Yeah. And we all went thinking that someone would get eaten by a shark. It was going to be nothing. Well, that's how they presented it too yeah. in the trailer. They yes. kind of showed more it like it was going right to be more face. Jaws. Yeah. More Jaws. But it's nothing. just Jacqueline Bissett and some fat fucking limey cunt talking <laughs> yeah. about nothing. <laughs> Looking for morphine. Yeah. 
And that's how uh, uh, Orca was another one that was yes. going to be the next Piranha. Yeah. That was stupid Piranha with every flounder. Orca was annoying. The fucking <laughs> stupid whale followed him to another country and then fucking bought a condo next to him <laughs> and fucking started taking his mail. The fucking <laughs> faggot whale. <laughs> I hate it. I like when it ate Bo Derek's leg. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, you and Dudley have something in common. Only one working leg for the next the 10 sequel. Boom. Fucking <laughs> club-footed cancer skull. <laughs> the best have a head full of pudding, silly. The best, the best was in uh, Jaws 8. She wants to finally escape the, the shark, so she moves to the Caribbean. I mean, yeah. that was just brilliant writing yeah. right there. It's an yeah. easy way to get away from the Why shark. Not yeah. Yeah. Why, Why not Arizona? fucking Cleveland. Why not Arizona? I mean, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get away from all this, and I'm going to settle down in the Caribbean. This no. time it's personal. Right. That was the uh, slug line yeah. for it. Did they ever explain why it had to be the Caribbean? Or they just make no. believe that that was just... Yes, they just... Because otherwise the shark can't eat her. Yeah, it's a real yeah, yes. dull movie of watching her driving to malls and right. shopping. And yep. He has to put a hit on her through goldfish <laughs> and hopes she won one of the fair. <laughs> like when she falls asleep, the goldfish swims in her the pussy and bites her heart. <laughs> swims through a pussy and bites her heart. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a, little... a fucking Stevie Nicks lyric or something. That's awesome. Hey, guys, we did four hours on this today. You want to maybe like, uh, do something unorthodox and talk about something else? Yeah. Yeah. We got a uh, German shit video. Let's talk about them for a couple. We can talk about the asexual population out there. What? People that don't have sex. Asexual, like oh, roaches. Asexual. Oh. And, uh... What about us? And we got some other stuff. <laughs> Maybe what, what, what about married people? You're not having a lot of sex, dude? What's that? Oh, oh, oh no. What's I that? No, he means what's that? Remember. No, you know what? Even better... I just, don't even remember. Do you get blown a lot? Do I get blown? Fuck you. No. <laughs> no. I got blown last night. It was fantastic. And I'm like, that's great. I want to come in your pussy. So she climbed on and sat on it. And it made, it made this. Great. It was so wet. It made this sound. That's great. Wow. You have a robot? <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, okay. We got we got something on kids and how they ruin your sex life and ruin your marriage and oh. and with Louie and I here. know because they grow yeah. up. That could be the perfect thing. <laughs> there you go. They grow up and start saying no. <laughs> Jesus. It's Opie and Anthony. This is unpredictable radio. Oh, holy crap! We need to remember that we are professionals in the entertainment industry. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, my God. I'm a grown man, and I'm being yelled at. More symbolism uh, happening on the TV to make oh, us all feel that. better. Uh, yeah. Everyone that died at uh, VT will get a uh, d diploma when uh, graduation comes around. <laughs> See, I misread it. I assumed it, like your meant, friends or yeah, like, traumatized. No, I thought everyone that is in the like school the right class? now no. will will graduate. No, you have to have died. You have to have died. So yeah. the people that died that yes. were were murdered get diplomas. Yes. So they, yeah. What? This is we were just what doing. This is somebody, purpose? somebody's mom who died that day gets a call. Yeah. And we have some good news. I, right. Good news. Wait a minute. Is my son alive? Well, well, did, no, no, no. Did, he's going to graduate. He's, yes. So you're telling me he's alive no, if he's no, going to graduate? He's, no, he's, he's dead, but is, he's getting a diploma. He's still dead, but a diploma. How is that what? good news? Because yeah, he can get student. into law school. Are you kidding? From Virginia Tech. <laughs> That's a great diploma, but but he's, that's a great credential. But you're telling me he's still dead. Yeah, he's still, look fucking whining bitch. We <laughs> let him graduate. His by the way, his grades were shit. He wasn't even close, you fucking cunt. But but he's I he's gonna have a fucking degree from Virginia Tech. Okay. Is that's there money in the bank? Okay, thank you. Thanks you're for the welcome. call. The, yeah, about time for the thing. That should you. put a smile on your face. How does that help? I don't know. <laughs> How does that fucking help anybody? Oh, my God. Uh, let's go to Jeremy in Ohio. Hey, what's up? Hi. There it is again. The cunt kills me. <laughs> yeah, my daughter's saying it now. It's oh, it's all right. She learned like it for her husband right. someday anyway. Is she saying, Daddy, stop fucking my... Oh, my God. <laughs> Blank. No, she's not saying <laughs> that. <laughs> that was as vulgar as that could have been on yeah. every level. I Cunt is the in there. <laughs> Baby incest yeah, and Daddy, stop fucking my... All right, you yeah. talk. No reason for me to try to improv. Go right ahead, sir. <laughs> it's all about you. I didn't mean to riff and have fun. Go ahead. <laughs> I left it no, the word out. Just, uh, 
I was uh, driving, uh, dropping her off this morning, and she said cunt. And I was like, oh, God, here it starts. Because my wife always, already gives me a hard time because I go around saying cunt all the time. Well, what was the, I like oh. that there's no context because that makes me picture just some kid getting out of the car oh, yeah, in front of the school going, yeah, really, cunt. Really I, really cunt. I can't believe I got to fucking go yet. to school again today. Yeah. She just yawns and it comes out. Cunt. <laughs> can't believe that's such an asshole. All right. We should uh, get into some other things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The kid thing is an old uh, thing. Mm-hmm. Whatever. How mm-hmm. kids get in the way of love and, and sex and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So... So what do you what do you want to uh what else about the gun toting slope? No, I mean there's no new developments there. <laughs> well, we have some you know, audience members out there. What? But, I mean we have a big crowd. Yeah, we got three guys. Two couples two, uh, and well, some guy that's trying to pay them for a threesome. <laughs> <laughs> no one brave enough to take the couch today, the front row. Yeah, they're seat. way in the back today. Yeah, why? All oh, low self-esteem. I don't Sit know. Up front on the couch. Area. Also, we never took our penis power stories from the women yesterday. Hmm. From that audio we played, my girlfriend was mad because I kept sending her I am saying that she wanted to, she wanted me to bottom out when I fucked her. Yeah, she's like, "What? That's painful." I'm like, "Yeah, but it's a good pain." She's like, "What do you want? What are you doing?" You're trying to show that you have a big cock. When no, she, I, I don't. When is she going to Rome? What she wants, and I can't handle it. Oh. When's Rome? She's not going. Oh, she's not. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, you she, put was, your fucking foot down. Nice, Jimmy. Good boy. I, I wouldn't care if she went to Rome. Good boy. I trust her. That's, You're the, going to Rome? that's the official story. I know. That's fine. You say that uh, out in public, but I understand what you did and good. good now, for you, are you Jimmy. going to Rome? No, she was going to go because her, her, one of her best friends, who's been there for five years, invited her actually to leave tonight and go for four days. And she finally has the money for airfare. Her friend's been there for five years, so her friend knows all these fucking guys and shit. Get the fuck no, out of no, no, here! Friend, no, no, hold you on. Don't send her to Rome hold alone on. with someone that's. Hold yes. on, her friend is, is has a fiance and they live together. And my girlfriend will be staying Great. with them, <laughs> so her friend won't be <laughs> fucking. That's hey, nice. Hey, can we tell the boat story yet when we were on vacation in Turks and Caicos? <laughs> Speaking. Oh you, <laughs> God, with the fucking horny captain. Like when you uh, back in the day, we all went to Turks and Caicos, and you know you fly out of JFK, and you pretty much see the people in the airport that you're going to be hanging out with for the next week at uh, Club Med. It's a Club Med plane. Oh, okay. So there is this woman, and we saw her saying goodbye to her boyfriend, and she was really sad that she's going to be away for a week. They're right? crying, hugging each other at the yeah. fucking. But we uh, saw while she was on airport. vacation. Mm. So, yeah, we kept seeing her around. I guess she was with friends and stuff like that. Uh, we went out on this... Um, uh, snorkeling trip or snorkeling something. Snorkeling trip. Uh, uh. And we had to cut a I little know, short... Oh, it was, it was the party. The booze party. cruise beach party. Whatever the fuck it was. We were on a boat in the Caribbean. Yeah. And uh, we had to head back. There was a storm coming. So the waves are getting a little choppy. And the captain... Uh, captain. This fucking guy... This guy from right. fucking Turks and Caicos. Yeah, yeah. This is, he's decided. Look, yeah. I'm I'm down here to get pussy. Yeah, like he wow. figured it out a while ago. That's why they work there at Club yeah. Med. Club Med ain't paying a lot. There's right. a bunch of guys that are just and, trying to get pussy. And this chick got so drunk on the punch, and uh, now she's flirting with the guy that's driving us back. Beer and sangria, the, uh, and she's flirting, and we're driving through this fucking rainstorm. So he invites her underneath his little awning oh, and the captain thing. The next thing we know, she's. On her fucking knees, <laughs> blowing the guy, <laughs> blowing the guy as he's driving the fucking boat in a, re- a you saw torrential, that? yeah, Dude. torrential Jeez. downpour. We see, we see the storm coming and the guy's oh. slowing down. He don't give a shit because he doesn't want to get back now. <laughs> no, so he's, like, oh, he's slowing you. the boat down, <laughs> and we're we're thinking this guy's gonna get us fucking killed because he's getting head. Yeah, <laughs> this woman is right underneath where the fucking wheel is. Uh, you just her what? knees are in like rusty oh, red yeah. paint. Bilge water. Yeah. You, you just the know. fucking the little uh, the skipper's wheel is going ding 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 off the top of her head <laughs> with the little handles on it. Ding 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 ding. ding, 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 ding. ding. Whoops, sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you just knew what was going on. And uh, so when she was crying to her boyfriend, she's crying in anticipation of the pain. Yeah. Of the island black penis breaking her ass. And again, we we all took the same plane back. It's, uh, it's <laughs> isn't that romantic? How romantic. We fucking, take the same plane uh, back, too, because the whole thing's a charter. Uh, so she's on the yeah. plane again, and we got to see the, the greeting back <laughs> at the airport. The boyfriend waiting, and she's like, baby, running into uh, each other's oh, arms. You. Big kiss, and we're just like, uh, he fucking wanted, tasting. Fucking he wanted, tastes like conch, captain, he wanted, tastes like a conch shell. He wonders why her mouth is fucking propped open like a scream mask. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Her tongue is all salty from that old salty dog. Too bad you uh, didn't get a picture of it. You could have showed him. So uh, this is what yeah. she was doing. Hey, dude, by the way, you want to see a nice picture? Uh, <laughs> her fucking flip-flops sticking out from underneath the fucking <laughs> skippers. This girl, was, she was a dirty girl, man. Just oh, yeah, around Phil Phil man just getting hammered and flirting. Oh. And yeah, there she runs into the arms of her boyfriend <laughs> back at JFK. Listen, here's the difference. Yeah, what? Well, yeah. Rome. She'd be with her friends. It's not a big... Yeah, but Rome is full of fucking Italian yeah. men. Exactly. Fucking they horny smell. dagos. You got to look at it from her point of view. You think about... I mean, it's for her, it's like going to a strip club. Yep. Rome is full of brown, kinky-haired, fucking hot guys. Right, why would she have All these accent? Italian guys that want fucking uh, <laughs> sex. <laughs> I don't think she would fuck around. She, I, I actually she on a scooter. She's gonna, get a <laughs> scooter. she's gonna have a Vespa in her vagina. <laughs> she's one of on the us. only girls I've ever dated that I really trust. I don't think she would <laughs> fuck and around. Why, uh, it's misplaced. Why isn't she no, going? Did you um, say that? I'm sure it's no. I, I actually told her I did trust her. She's like, it, it's just a matter of logistically, it's too soon to plan everything. Sure. Her friend's yeah. birthday and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, good. Good. friend's birthday. Sure. Get the whatever story you have to tell. And I'm everybody. sure that she would have invited me. I mean, of course. Like, oh, she really? Maybe thought I was busy, even though I'm going to be on vacation well, that's next week. Huh? Yeah. That's I didn't get the invite. That's weird. It's interesting. Okay. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's, it's it's all good. She's, why would you she's go? A cool chick. Yeah. yeah. Why would I want to go and have fun in Rome? Yeah. Rome. It's not like there's anything to see there. I no, get invited like a single thing. <laughs> I get invited to stuff like by proxy. Like, well, you can no. go if you want. It's like, like Patterson, New oh, Jersey. Yeah, exactly. It's just nothing. But you know how you get invited to stuff? They're like, baby, let's go to Rome together. Like, I'm going to do, like, it's almost like you get the statement, like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. You're like, okay. And then they, they hear the thick silence, and then like, I mean, well, you know, if you want to go, you can. If you want to. Yeah. All right. If you want to go and push one. the Italian's cheeks, <laughs> always treating my mouth like a pocket pussy. <laughs> Let's go to Jack. Jack. Jack in Boston. Yeah, it's Jimmy. I uh, love you guys. Love the show. By the way, Jimmy, uh, uh, whatever. I was just going to give oh, you a little Jack, echo, but you're, you're My still friend was going to speak. Go ahead, Ulp. You do it. You take the helm. <laughs> I just want to let people know the local station that we're on up there, BCN, is giving away tickets every hour for their uh, excellent for our tour that's hitting Mansfield. So another way to maybe get some tickets cool. for yourself. Listen to BCM. All right, Jack. Sorry. Go ahead. Go, Jack. Go. All right. When I was in college, my fiance went to Rome. Within three days of her being there, we were no longer engaged, and she was fucking some Italian dude. So, Jimmy, uh, the, you're the, fucked. Here's the, the difference. difference is that you're an ugly faggot, and your fiance was a cunt. Yes. <laughs> well, that's also true. <laughs> Jim is a talented, <laughs> interesting, handsome fellow. And, dude, I'm, and I, his girlfriend's pretty cool. Yeah, I am, uh, I am a sweet boy, and if you've seen... Like yes, like the way I eat pussy and ass. I'm mean, oh. fucking good, man. Yeah. Yeah, but at least I can bottom out. Can you? How oh. big's your dick? How, How big is my dick? Yeah. Well, you know, big enough to bottom out and eleven year old girl. An eleven year old corpse. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking his dead niece daily. I love funny people. Bottoming out gets easier every day because it's shriveling and death shrinking. What is better than hanging out with funny people? Shrinking like an old pumpkin. All right. Oh, you bottom out an 11 year old corpse. Oh, thank God I don't have the most offensive thing I've said today. It now goes into your hands. Dude, it's fucking having funny friends. It rules. Oh, yeah. All right. It fucking rules. Laughter's the best. Medicine. Thank you. <laughs> That's what they say. <laughs> You're right, Lil. <laughs> yes. Let's go to Raul from Florida. Raul. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Raul. <laughs> hey, guys. I was uh, just surfing online today, and I went to what they called Joystick, and they had this thing about the uh, the, the guy who shot those guys in the, the school. Yeah. Uh, his name, what is it? Chow Sung Yeah, Queen. whatever. And he had no video games at all. So they have no right to blame it on video games. Uh, I heard Counter Strike was brought up last night on TV. What was that about? Okay. What was the angle with Counter Strike? It's a great game. It is a great game. A lot of fun. I, I don't know. I play it. Thanks. Yelled at by <laughs> fucking kids. <laughs> fucking nailed you, dick fuck. And they all curse with their little headsets. Because now you can oh, I, like hear. Oh, right, you can hear each other. Oh. Crazy. Fuck you, douchebag! <laughs> and you're like, what? I'm just, I want to play the game. It was so much better when it was just text. Yeah, yeah. You know, now you hear their, their, you. their voices, and they're just kids. Like, just, ugh. And they they just <laughs> fucking nail you, too. Yeah. You run around, you run around a corner, bam, right in the face. <laughs> Dad, dick! <laughs> fucking noob, you stink! Yeah, I but stink. They're little voices. Yeah. Yeah. In my <laughs> fucking 40s running around like an idiot. 
getting just fucking shot at every turn. <laughs> and that's how you hear it. <laughs> Look at his fucking asshole. Look at him. Let's just stay here. I'm going to stay by the spawn and just shoot him every time he reappears. <laughs> I had a great trick, though, for those little fuckers. Mm. When I uh, I was playing Half-Life um, uh, Team Fortress, and it, it's a great game. Another one, you know, you're out there just playing online against a bunch of people. Sure. But uh, they had this thing where you were able to tag walls. <laughs> and they had, like, little things you could uh, download to tag, like, a skull. Right. You walk up to the wall and hit a T, and it would make a spray paint sound like, and you'd see a skull up yeah. on the wall. Kind of cool. But I also figured out how to take pictures and put them up on the wall. So I would take these nude fucking hardcore pornography, <laughs> kids put it in, be. spray paint it up on the wall, and then take cover behind a barrel. Right. And the kids would run up, and you'd see them looking up. Their character would actually be standing there, and there's five of them. <laughs> and I'd throw an explosive pack and fucking detonate it and watch them go flying. Oh, my God. It's hysterical. Oh, you hide under the oh, stairs. It's like kryptonite to these kids. Oh, they would it's stop China, dead. Help. They'd run, stop dead, and look at it. And just fucking unload on him. It's a good way to beat a child in the video game. Show him a cock or a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> what what, is, what is this, Danny? Best spray ever? Uh, let me get on the mic. Oh, CT's. An 11 year old corpse. Spray is on the mic. Bottom out. <laughs> <laughs> I used to play Counter Strike a bunch too. And I'll never forget one time I was, I was running through one of the maps and I was a, I was a counter terrorist in Counter Strike. And what they would do is they would spray the opposing team on the wall. So I'm sitting there shooting what I think is the enemy. Oh, fuck, <laughs> that's great. What but a I'm really idea. just shooting the wall. And the guy's behind me just watching, just watching. And, like, once I'm done with my clip and I'm on my computer going, what the fuck, why won't he die? He just headshot, bam. <laughs> oh, wow. I watched, I watched, oh, that's a great gag. It was great. I watched him do it all day long. It was fantastic. <laughs> Very good. Let's uh, get another story from Rome. It's Matt in Jersey. Matt. Oh, and hey, what's up? Hey, damn, Matt. Last time we did this uh, this bit, it was about Jamaica. Jamaica, where you just, it, yeah, man. They, they came out of the woodwork, but now it's about Rome. Matt, go ahead. Little Jimmy. What, what up, Matt? That baloney pitch? What's that? I'm good, what? buddy. He's in good shape now. Shut up. That's right. I'm a, I'm a, I'm five foot seven of rock. <laughs> hey, brother, I'm five foot eight of mush. All right. All right. Uh, Get to your story, <laughs> fucko. <laughs> When I was in college, my girlfriend went to Florence, brother, and I'm telling you, those guys over there, they prey on American women. Yep. yep. Prey on them. Uh, she ended up hooking up with a, a carbonary, which is like their local level state police, mm -hmm. and I went to visit her, and the first night I got there, we had sex, and I could tell immediately she had just got split wide open, brother. Listen to me. Wide open. First of all, my girlfriend's already been there. No. Second of all, uh -oh. if she wants to bang someone, she could do it here. Right here in the old U.S. of A. Uh, and, and third of all, again, <clears throat> she has me at home. I'm just going to visit Furio. Um, Shut well, up. No, I, I don't uh, I don't think she would. And honestly, first I don't First of all, your girlfriend's mouth never doesn't taste like cum. My, <laughs> my, never. My girl, I've, I haven't trusted women since I had an incident, uh -oh. a humiliating incident, in about the fifth grade. Which is coming out in therapy that I'm remembering. Fifth grade? Yeah, just a thing with trust. Um, oh. I know. Can you share it, or is it you're still working true. through it? Oh, it's not It's not painful, like, on that level. It's just embarrassing. Like, I was... Here's why I don't not trust women. Not the sticker bush story. No, no, no. Love the sticker I was in love when I was a boy. My little girlfriend's name was Jill. Fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. Cunt. And, uh, oh, on wheels. And I had, like, a boy crush on her. <laughs> We uh, we never even kissed. I remember she said like years later that my lips were too chapped, mm. and I probably liked her more than she liked me. But I remember one day I went to her house and I didn't know this would happen. And my friend Andrew Cantor was there, and um, you know we were all like in the same grade. And um, Jill, told I me can't wait to see this animated. I know. <laughs> I, 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 every time Jimmy tells a story about his youth, now I see it in flash animation. <laughs> uh, just use his name Andrew. Don't use his last name. He might not like it. Um, but I, I, Jill and Andrew were hanging out. And it's weird for me that they get there. I think I had to ask her, well, can I come over? And she was like, Ugh, if I remember correctly. So I'm sitting there. I think oh I went, we all went down to the basement. And then her and Andrew went upstairs to get something. And they were gone for a while. Mm. And I was such a stupid little Jimmy Norton just sitting mm. in the basement. And uh, I found out, like, years later, he told me that they were making out upstairs. Oh, no. Oh, See, the part of the story, though, that is a tiny detail for you, but amazes me. You say she didn't kiss you. I found out later it's because my lips were too chapped. Yeah, she that means me. there was a conversation where you said, "Hey, years ago when you wouldn't kiss me," she's like, "Who's this? Jim Norton? You wouldn't kiss me, <laughs> Jim Norton? Why didn't you kiss me? Your lips were chapped, you fuck!" No, 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 no. We were talking. Here's what happened. 
uh, we were talking. I, I saw her years later. We yeah. saw each other briefly, and we were joking about different stuff. And she, yeah, I remember your lips were always chapped, so I kind of figured that's why. Oh, I'm so you put two and two I didn't mention the kiss. I asked her for a kiss, and it was so awful the way I asked. Oh, that's. A... What'd you do? What'd you say? But I found out that her and Andrew were kissing uh, upstairs, and he told me a couple years later in high school. Like this is like sixth grade, so four years later he told me, and I was in a rage. I didn't tell. Four him years was, later, oh. you were in a rage about that. Oh my god! Because I was so self so stupid. For like having like 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 this girl not known, <clears throat> but I asked Fuck her, to, her and her fucking faggot Andrew. I uh, well, I, please now it's easy for me to say because I've you know experienced trannies. But I was uh, <laughs> when I was uh, I was in sixth grade or fifth grade. I asked her for a kiss, but I didn't know how to ask for a kiss. So I, this was the truth. I sat my father down. My fucking awful advice dad I think he fucked one woman in his life and, and I showed up <laughs> I said I'm not I doing that again how do I kiss a girl and he goes walk over and ask her if you can smell her breath and when she breathes in your face lean in and kiss her which is oh like which god. is almost an assault kind of a yeah. sexual assault yeah oh my god so even I knew at that age that was awful so my Jill and I are standing by like this little creek little creek in mm. Hidden Lake New Jersey mm -hmm. the one she's in now <laughs> <laughs> yes the one she wound up in she's an hour pumping. later with fucking a rock with hair matted to her <laughs> next to her loaded out <laughs> and uh she Go fucking big puffy hands like Mickey Mouse <laughs> <laughs> that's true someone found her found her when fucking turtles ate half of her face <laughs> and I didn't I didn't know how to ask for a kiss because I couldn't just say it so I was such a schlep I was kicking the rocks and I'm like I want to ask you something and oh, um no. she's like what I'm like uh you know the name of my favorite band Oh, oh God! Hold on, oh, I can't, God. I can't look at Jimmy now. I can't either. All right, I'm stuck. Oh, Jim, that's now so, not looking at Jimmy. That is so generous of you to share that. <laughs> that's so beautiful. Wow. You tell me that, <laughs> oh, that because no one should know it. <laughs> oh my God! You should have not told us, and you should have killed her so she couldn't tell nobody. Uh, oh, you know they have my oh, favorite band, and she's like, yeah. I'm like, well, and that uh, she just kind of blew it off and didn't answer. Oh, uh, yeah, it, she just it, wanted that to go uh, away. Uh, it was as I stood there with my fucking, my calic hair, my uh, fucking chap lips. She silently says to herself, Jim, good, good luck living that down for the rest of your shit life. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoy the crannies that will not erase the memory. Oh. Uh, so that's where Christ. I think my trust issues with women started oh, once I learned that. Christ. All right, let's go to oh. Illinois. Ron, what's up? <laughs> Hey, O and A, how you guys doing? What's up, man? Good. Good. Thank you. Good hey, I'm listening to you guys talk about the um whether or not the video games can have an effect on the kids. And the only thing I'm thinking about is, you remember the '80s when everyone was looking like Michael Jackson and dressing up like Madonna and the military today using computer animation to kind of desensitize the uh, airplane pilots? Why can't that apply for psychos? Well, it, what are you saying? Video games might be in some way well, responsible? Well, not you and I with the quote-unquote normal. But that's but anything. Obviously... Like, we can't gear the lives of everyone on this planet around nut jobs or children or no, things also, like that. It's like you were saying earlier. How? Why would we think we're far away from this? Like, mm. why did this happen? It's not because it's some mysterious video game. Yeah. It's because killing people. It's interesting to watch people's heads explode. <laughs> yeah. And uh, life is cheap. <laughs> that that's pretty much it. And because really, what the fuck? You should really actually be killing and eating people. Like, what's stopping you? <laughs> sure, this shit. The only thing you missed out on yeah. is eating. It's not part of your body, so let it die. That's the but way, we're overlooking I mean, the fact that maybe we are desensitizing the children. No, we're not. Fuck you know what? You know. You know what? We're not. We're we, the people are <clears throat> going to be nuts. There's going to be nuts in, in the world. There are going to be yes. people that can handle video games by the billions, and then one or two that can't. So, you, like, even if video games were Nobody, directly responsible yeah, no. for a nut job shooting everybody... Nobody is responsible except for the faggot chink with the gun who shot those kids. <laughs> oh, absolutely. An awful writer. Yeah, yeah. We're never going to have a perfect society. You know, one guy messes up because he can't handle uh, video games, and so now we so all take it away from everybody. Uh, the children might be affected, so take away any adult entertainment. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, no. It's ridiculous. Well, I think the thing that's confusing me is, like, they're going on right now about the letters that he wrote and how psychotic it is and the professors don't, you know, blah, 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 these, these papers he was writing. What's any different than going to the movie theater and watching Saw? What? Uh, well, there you go, answering your own question. Good. What is the difference, sir? I'll tell I you what. Thank you, Senator.
Nine dollars and fifty cents plus popcorn. <laughs> yeah, that's the difference. All right, thank you. He's hey, he's I have there. one quick story about Rome, by the way, because oh. this guy mentioned the Cabinieri, the state police there. Yeah, I was in Rome once. I went on a, I went to Russia and Rome by myself, Ooh. just pathetically. Spoke to no people for two weeks. <laughs> Made no connections with anybody. <laughs> but that just sounds fucking, so exciting. It was interesting. I saw some cool shit. But when after I, a few days, where you're going like, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, I'm in. A, I'm in hotels. I could be in a hotel in fucking <laughs> Newton, Massachusetts, <laughs> in Phoenix, or something. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm in a, a car that I rented in Rome. Just and I'm looking at beautiful countryside. These are postcards out my window. I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah. And I'm driving down a highway in in uh, near Rome. To, through the countryside, and I'm like, I, I'm going crazy. I haven't talked to anybody, and there's a roadblock of Cabinieri State Police, and they look like Nazis. They have high hats and boots up to their uh -huh. knees, and they have st a ret or whatever stop signs. They have a roadblock. They're stopping traffic, and I just have this weird idea in my head. Nothing's happened to me, and I'm just, I don't care what happens to me now, <laughs> and I gunned it. And I went around them a little into opposite traffic. What the I fuck swear to God, I did this. You. Wow. I floored it, went around the guy. And then I look at my rearview mirror, and they're running on, like like uh, like it's the Pink Panther or something, like shaking their fists. And I'm like, "Fuck it, get in your cars, chase me, put me in jail." I'd actually happily be in an Italian jail, meet some Italian he's people. He's insane. Because I hadn't had like the guts to say hello to anybody. That and is been, great. So what it, happened? Nothing fucking happened. They shook their little fists. They got it's like, like small in my movies. Yeah. Oh. They got small in you the mirror, us. and I went on, and I went on, and nobody That's did fantastic. anything. fantastic. It's like a little bit of excitement. If you yeah. got caught, you'd, exactly. you'd have to interact with people. I'd be at some sergeant's desk who'd be typing my name, and yeah. they'd call somebody at All home. All smoking cigarettes that weird European way. Yeah. With their thumb and well, like, forefinger. Well, like, when you see, like, O.J. Backwards. Simpson, there was nobody even charged. He didn't even get charged for taking the police on a high-speed chase. No. Like, there's no... Those no. things... And when and when you watch cops when they get a guy, well, he did a little, you know, did you know, he got a fine for the chase. Nobody cares. Jesus. What would have happened? I would have spent one night in jail and paid a fine and met and had a really interesting experience. Yeah, interesting uh, jail. You don't know what Italian jails are like. Exactly. Big unclipped cock going not gonna into your ass. Fucking <laughs> hang me for dodging a fucking. Yeah. Uh, they find out I'm not a criminal. I'm just some asshole. American, American. comedian dies in hail of bullets <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> because he didn't pay attention to a stop sign. Yeah. Hey, back to the gaming thing. A couple of instant feedbacks. Uh, use lad uh, bag. Uh, confession time. I was a little fag who played Dungeons and Dragons when I was a kid. Yeah. And people used to say at least to de devil worship and violence. The truth. Uh, update. The truth. We were just douches. And then uh, Pat from Foxborough. I play Madden uh, 07 all the time, but I don't play for the Patriots. <laughs> yeah, see? It is, it's the most. The, there's two hacky comedian bits out there right now. From, mm -hmm. from, I'm on the road a lot now watching middle acts. <laughs> Great. One of them is uh, uh, teachers uh, molesting their students. This didn't happen when I was a kid. That I, whole man, gag. I do that. And the, the other, you do that. <laughs> <laughs> and then the other one is uh, video game. Vi I played Frogger and I don't walk hey. out in the traffic. And get hit I, by don't a car. <laughs> I do that one. <laughs> Let's take a break. Louis C.K. is going to be at Caroline's next uh, weekend. Oh, next week. And yeah. Atlanta punchline, punchline this weekend. This weekend. Well, we got some audio from the Tonight Show appearance. Opie and Anthony. It's great. They're like the hottest guys on radio. Wow, that's really nice. Really nice. Opie and Anthony Show on XM Satellite Radio. It starts with an ONA plug before headlines. It's Opie and Anthony Show on XM Radio. Very nice. Test tested. Ah. Leno approved. They plugged us like three times last night. Yep. The, show. the Opie and Anthony Show. The hottest show there is. The hottest show there is. That's got to be on the radio. Louis C.K. in studio. It's the Opie and Anthony show. Describing life on the road as a comedian. Oh, Jesus. Describing uh, jerking off. Which is synonymous nine. with life on the road. You wake up around, I don't know, 11 a.m. Wake up, maybe. And yeah. then you jerk off and go back to sleep. <laughs> and then you wake up, put on the SpectreVision on the hotel, you know, watch 50 of them before you find something that will get you hard so you can go on the internet. <laughs> You're not even jerking off to the shit. It's spent just, about a thousand dollars right there. You need a fluffing video. Yeah, and then to go on the internet, get some old pictures, fucking call phone sex, a few different lines, <laughs> fucking jerk off. It's now like three o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't seen daylight. 
Cause dra- <laughs> the, cause she, the, dra- the drapes are all down because I sleep during the day. All right. 3 p.m. I'm hu- fucking hungry. I get room service, go back to sleep, wake up at like 5, go to the shit mall, get a soft ice cream, watch a movie, go to the comedy club. The manager says, hey, you doing? And I go, I'm all right. I just spoke my first words to a human being. <laughs> Do a show up all fucking night because I slept all day. <laughs> <laughs> fucking nobody to talk to. Call on the West Coast because some of those people are awake a little Jerking later. off and eating, too, at night at fucking yeah. 2 oh, in the totally. morning. Jerk, oh, jerking off is just part. This is like the time, like the, the clock running. <laughs> You're just kind of jerking, jerking off. Jerking. Calling people on the West Coast who I don't even know it very well because I want to talk to somebody. <laughs> and anyway, uh, times that multiply this by two weeks or so on the road. I, st- I, I retreat even more and more from people because I feel disgusting for what I'm jerking <laughs> off to during the day. And then I go home to my wife, and it's like coming back from Vietnam. Vietnam. I don't relate to my family anymore. You wouldn't understand. I'm Bruce Dern, fucking taking off my clothes and walking into the ocean. <laughs> I just fucking can't relate to society. Sell the anymore. car, sell the house, sell the kids. Yeah, exactly. Send that letter, yeah, exactly. that curse letter. Just less and less. Colonel able CK. To <laughs> Colonel CK. Yeah. Nothing to say to her. Oh, damn. My wife is like fucking a astronaut's wife with a shaky <laughs> cigarette in her hand. <laughs> I, he's fine. <laughs> we all love him here. <laughs> Very awesome. proud. Uh, when was the last time you saw your family? You've been on the road for a while, right? I, yeah, well, this morning, they, they're at my, I'm in the New York. We're all in the city, so I saw my family this morning. My wife came into the city only because we had to go to couples therapy, so she brought the kids. Today? Wow. Yeah, we went yesterday. You ever just yank your cock out and say, I want you to toot on this for a few minutes? That's how you got to do it, man, as a married guy. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a great idea. Uh, How's that working out? If yeah. I did that, she would just do so whatever she was this doing. Is, this she is, wouldn't even look. We don't look at each other. And when the, If I took out my dick and said, why don't you toot on this for a while? <laughs> She'd keep whatever fucking emailing. She'd be looking at whatever real estate wherever she wants to live when she leaves me. This is, she'd be like, "I'm sorry, did you say something?" And the counseling, would be nothing. the counseling is obviously her idea. Oh no, I I wanted you to went, go. You yeah. went for yeah. it. Yeah, I'm Impressive. the one who said I wanted to go. This fucking guy is. We did it last time we went. It's a double session. It was eight hundred dollars. Wow, eight hundred. What does he do? Eat both your assholes while he talks to you? Jesus, <laughs> that's. Eight hundred bucks. Wow, how's it is it is it doing anything? Oh, it's great. Everything's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Everything's great. Oh, ever worth every penny. It's fantastic. Great, great, great. Yeah. Four hundred bucks a person? Well, it's four hundred dollars an hour. He don't break it up by the person. Oh, you go two hours. Yes, yeah, couples. But it's a drive-in movie. He puts her yeah. in the trunk before he drives. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's only one person here. Is there anything Listen you, up, honey? Is there anything you could share from those uh uh get togethers? Well, no, not anything about us. The guy, though, the first day he's telling us about it, a lot of times they tell you about other couples to give you comparisons. Mm-hmm. And he's like, hey, I know a couple, because I'm on the road a lot and I work a lot. So he's like, it's hard for people with careers. I know a couple. He's a, a, She's a lawyer, and he's a sports writer. Right away, I'm like, I can Google that. <laughs> Make some connections. <laughs> yeah, really. really. Down. I can figure and that out. And he's like, out. he's, so he, while he's covering March Madness. <laughs> he's a lawyer. He's, he's a sports writer. And then he goes, <laughs> while he's, co- he's covering ball. March Madness, and she's lecturing about uh, pornography and law around the co- So I'm like, I know who these people are. Yeah. <laughs> I can figure it out in 10 seconds. Why are you telling me this? The next couple is going to come in and he goes, I know yeah, a couple. I know a yes. couple. He's a stars in Lucky comedian. Louie. Lucky Louie. <laughs> the first initial in his name <laughs> Or L O U I. <laughs> Fucking douche. Uh, that's uh, got to be something, though. Are you ever sitting there and listen to like a therapist or something and, no. and go like, he doesn't get this at all? Or... No. Well, that, the thing is, what happens in therapy is you get it. You really say the shit. Uh, it's only because my wife, I know she doesn't have XM in the car she's in, that right. I can say that she's... The other day she said, I hate... She pointed at my head and said, I hate him. Oh, <laughs> like, at the head. Yeah, at my head. Oh, yeah. So here's the thing. You get in there and you fucking have it out. You say yeah. everything. And then you get addicted to that. And you can say, outside of the therapist's office, you can say nothing. Like, outside of the therapist's office, we're just... Like, at home, we're just like... Just bullshit talking about, you know, what did Rose, you know, Rosie O'Donnell say today? Like, we can't, but if we start talking about anything real, it gets lightning rotted to where, what we fucking have said to each other. And if he's not there, we're going to wow. kill each other. Wow. So we can only talk for one hour a week. She said, I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> and we spend all the other hours of the week if in I... this strange avoidance. If uh, we were in a boxing ring during the week, people would be whistling and throwing paper and <laughs> <laughs> do something. I don't and then, then for that one hour, oh yeah, 
Motherfucker gets hot in there. I don't. Oh shit! I, I don't know how far we can take this, but do, yeah. why do you guys hate each other? Is, or can you discuss that? What, what did two you think kids. When she said I hate you. What did you feel when she like, said I hate you? I, I hate you too. <sighs> okay. Is it just oh. over time, slowly but surely, the relationship broke down, or is this? Uh, was there? Oh, uh, we got two kids. I think it's That's like this for almost kids. any marriage, except for that we have. The thing is, we have a traditional marriage. I make all the money, and she raises the kids. But mm -hmm. we have a traditional marriage in 2007, which means that, that you can't just say that. It's not traditional. No, I don't get to <laughs> say, I, I bring home the bacon. Right. You watch the kids. You fry it up in a pan. Fry it up in a pan. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. I bring home the bacon. I fry it up in the pan. I feed it to the kids. And I, if I mention that I pay the bills, I'm a fucking asshole. Like, I'm a piece of shit for, like, wow. like somehow I'm being a... Uh, prehistoric if i'm but it's true that i pay the you know so yeah. it's, it's hard like marriage is harder now i think than it ever ever has been and it's not like this guy he wrote a book the guy we're going to and it's all about how it's hard for marriage now because when the women work my wife doesn't fucking work so. so your theory of your book goes out the fucking yeah. window yeah. it's hard but it mostly it's because you when you have kids you, it's hard to fuck anymore and you also care about your kids far more then you care about your spouse. I don't give a... I mean, my kids are my life now. I really don't give a shit about her. I really don't, because how could I next to I, my kids? I'm laughing because I'm, I'm fucking stunned. It's just like a stunning thing. To the honesty. Yeah. The honesty. Well, it's true. If our, kids, if our kids... Look, I've got a lot of history with my wife. And uh, there's a lot... It's a complicated relationship. And I feel I couldn't... You know, I feel a lot of push and pull in many directions. And I'm fighting really hard to save it. We're in therapy. And my whole life right now is focused on saving our relationship and getting it back to but, somewhere good. Right. Oh, but do you So it's the biggest it? deal in my life. But if my kids weren't here... I wouldn't even call her to say goodbye. I just walk. <laughs> I just fucking. I wouldn't leave a note. So, I would yeah. just stop being near so her you're fucking, that's the fucking way you do it, cancerous really. body. You're saving it for the. You're saving <laughs> yeah. it for the kids then. Totally, hundred percent. So I'm so glad I never had kids. Oh my god. Because yeah. the the whole thing you're talking about, like I used to get ragged on. Mm -hmm. For not um, doing, doing things chores. around the house, right. I had these set chores to do. There weren't yeah. much. There, but but it was like why. I'm going out. I, it's a new career for me doing radio. Yes. I'm really like learning the trade at the time. This was, you know, years ago. And she's not working. Mm -hmm. And and I'm bringing home the money. And believe me, a lot more money than I was when I was when we were both working and right. I was knocking tin. Yeah. Uh, but then. Well, the money you brought in just to help you out a little bit gave her the luxury of not having to work. Yeah, anymore. not having yeah. to work. Right. So which so, is kind of key, I think, to yes, the whole thing. But then there'd be these little chores I would have. Like I'd have to take out the garbage. Yeah. And it was my job to vacuum and yeah. and like if i didn't do it i would be ragged on like i remember my mother fucking yelling at me mm -hmm. for not vacuuming no and the thing is to me if you don't have kids i don't get any of it and that was it if you're married and you don't have children oh. and you have a bad week <laughs> get the bad fuck week. out oh, why the fuck week. would you save a marriage that's <laughs> stressful right when you have kids, that's everything. You can't. You got to stay together for for the kids because yep. you got to be. It's not even that they need to have two parents to, to be together. It's just that you want to be there for your children because you you fucking care about them. But it's you got to look at it on the other side. Like the thing about having kids too, is that spend one day if you have kids, spend one full day with them where you're, like every time I give my wife a break. I fucking totally realize what she's going through. It's fucking murder. You want to kill everybody in really? the world. When you're alone with kids and you don't have... I mean, I have a job. Even when I'm taking care of the kids, I fucking got my computer on my knee and I'm working. Like I'm fucking writing a movie. Yeah, you're still working. Yeah, I'll call... Just to make myself feel okay about the fucking trap that children feel like on a given day, I'll call my manager and just say, what's going on? And he'll be like, well, we just booked another own A date in Camden. Oh, good. You know, go read a story to my daughter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shit. Because I'm not sitting in a room reading fucking uh, The Happy Hen and nothing else is going on. Yeah. I've got a show I just booked in Camden. I'm put on my website. There's people talking about me around the country, uh, yeah. buying tickets to my shows. Ordering my DVDs on Amazon. That helps me sit in a room and read to my boring little kids. Kids are... But my wife has fucking nothing except to focus on what a piece of shit I am <laughs> for dropping cum into her and making people that have ruined her life. <laughs> That's all she's got. So I, I actually completely see her side to it. 
We yeah. are, we are, tra- and what we found out in therapy is that we're trapped and that it's neither of our faults. So how, but, but that there, doesn't make us go, oh, okay. The only solution is yeah. killing the children. Yeah, that's it. I, that's Throwing really... them into a garbage can and letting them die next to a and, rat in a milk cart. And you two just, like, spur of the moment, laughing, heading off to the Caribbean. Oh, my God, we'd have a ball. <laughs> just having fun like the old days. <laughs> I actually days. think, if like, when I picture that, if we got rid of the kids, I would walk out the door. Actually, what i do is fuck her face, and we'd probably get along <laughs> crazy. <laughs> but why, why, don't you, uh, why don't you guys go on vacation together? Leave the kids at one of your parents for a few days, and seriously, go away for a few I days. Mean, I want to punch you in the face for saying Is that bad? Oh, yeah. shit. Is that bad? I don't know. It's just so complicated. One of them, she She's still breastfeeding the kid who's two. Can't get the kid away from her. No, it's a mess. Uh, <laughs> Never do that. Hey, hey, Never do that. Got, wow, man. It's like walking up to a guy in a concentration camp and going, why don't you just take a little trip somewhere and get out of here? If you don't like it here, yeah, yeah. why are you hanging around? No, but I mean, you can't give them to like, your parents or something like that. Because there's <laughs> Nazis that will shoot me in the face if I leave. Two's too young to leave a kid. Wow, man. No yeah, two. No, we can't leave a kid. Let's, uh, let's uh, go to Minnesota, I think. Chris, what's up? Hey, love you, love your show. Thank you. Hey, uh, hey, Louis, I completely agree. To me, to me, I think I'm just a dick for my wife. You know, uh, I'm just a dick in the house. <laughs> well, that one, that one lost steam faster than you expected. <laughs> yeah, I know. He want, he want to admit that he doesn't care about his wife either. Yeah. No, I, in my, to me, I'm just a dick to the wife, and so. Hey, Jenny, got a question for you. I'm sorry, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I'm embarrassed that I did that. I did <laughs> Who that. Is that. That's I miss his apology. Oh, geez. Hey, Dave, he's now for embarrassing phone calls. <laughs> oh, Let's try to get this Good back morning. on the rails. Yeah, go ahead, Dave. Oh no, Louie, you're you're absolutely spot on. Same predicament here. I, you just go numb, man. You know, I, I, I'm, but I'm at the point where I couldn't give a fuck if my wife went out and got filled up with somebody else's cop custard. I'm done. Don't give a shit, man. I'm just holding on, waiting for the kids to graduate. Get the fuck out, man. I had my. Oh no, if my wife cheated on me, it would change nothing. Yeah, it, it exactly. really would. Really. leave her. It would be leverage for just the little things during the day. That's all exactly. it would be. You wouldn't leave her? No, because I can't. I, I got plenty of reasons to do it now. I got I got kids. We want to stay together. Yeah. We want to have the kids. kids. And you know, and the thing is, the the, the comple- com- complex thing about it is that we share the kids, and that w- makes us happy together. Like we, right. as parents, we're fucking yep. the best friends in the world. We watch our kids do fun shit, and w- it's hugely rewarding. That's the two your of us. Common denominator there. Yeah, exactly. The so like, we'll be hissing at each other. I hate you. I'll never suck your dick again. Fuck you. you go. Oh look! Oh, oh look what she did! Oh, oh my God! Oh, isn't that cute? So we do, but that joy that we share with the kids totally real, and it's actually making life worth living. So that's the thing that's complicated about it. When I pictured leaving, I'm not only sad to think of not being with my kids every day, which I am. I'm also sad about her. She's part of that. She's part of our. You won't. Have, you won't be able to share that with her. No, that and that's bigger. And actually, you know, look, I'm almost forty. My dick is finally starting to get. Eight percent less hard than it used to be. So, <laughs> so like the fucking joy of having a family is starting to outweigh the sex a little bit. I mean, that's kind of sad because it's like you know wow. I'm not gonna care that nobody fucks me in a couple of years. Dude, I think wow. you know, that makes me want to kill myself. You want you want to do it when she's laying there sleeping? Start eating yeah. her ass like a fucking loon. Go in there and start eating her ass. She'll be like this loon. She is sleeps with the fucking children. So I'd have, like, t- I'd have to move my baby to the side. Go like this. If the kid looks at you, he goes... Oh, he inadvertently sticks his face in the baby's ass. <laughs> wow, she's really... Uh, she's been working out. <laughs> He's toned up. Let's go to Walter in Pennsylvania. Walter. Oh, uh, hi, guys. Love yeah. you. Love the Hello, show. Walter. Thanks. Uh, guys, look. Uh, Louis C.K., I've been married 17 years. i got three kids. My oldest one is 14. My youngest is 10. I'm in therapy for the third time. Yeah. We're together because of the kids. She's mm-hmm. a teacher. Mm-hmm. I got a, uh, I'm developing a girlfriend. It's <laughs> I'm developing a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm sorry, Louis. I work. I, I don't know what to say. I'm, yeah. I, 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 she, she's ignored me. I haven't had sex in three years. Yeah, it's I fine, get ignored. Man. I'm a local truck driver. I don't know. We're in therapy, and that's good I'm though. Ignored. You're talking about it, and it's also good that you're honest about how long it's been. Because whenever married couples, whenever married guys compare, like how long has it been for you? Somebody goes two months, and now we all have to say two months because you lied. <laughs> like, you know, Why it's been longer? Of course it has. Two months, what is your wife a whore? <laughs> it's unbelievable. Two months. 
two months ago, I was thinking about what it was like two years ago. When's the last time you banged? How long I don't fucking been? remember. Honestly? I think it was my birthday of last year, which is September. I actually think that's the last time oh that my, my dick God. touched vaginal Do you talk dirty? Secretion. What? When you fuck, do you talk dirty? <laughs> talk dirty. What's what like that's going to solve everything? Yeah, it helps. Look, holler a cunt? No, And no, she'll no, no, fuck no. you more. But I mean, like, you might want to open up a new door. Sometimes we you talk, open oh, up a yeah, new door. Talk. Yeah, sure. We talk dirty at the yeah. supermarket. Fucking asshole. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes you open a new door and you both get addicted to it again. That's the way it we is. Have, yeah, but... Was, was the sex uh, awful? No, it was good. It was good. Every time we've was had sex... Code? We've never had sex where it wasn't fun. We have good sex. But why not more often? Too much other shit going on. So why don't you just say, look, I want to get like blown in, in a war bathroom. Zone. It's like trying to get blown into, you know, Iraq and Fallujah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Being shot at Start here. losing your heart on when you watch people's heads explode. <laughs> you have no fear, man. I like yeah. your honesty. It, it's well, unbelievable. She doesn't have XM. You're, uh, so, you're so right about the uh, no kids thing, though, because... Uh, uh, in my situation, I, I, I had the, the job. That was my main like oh. focus. I had a brand new, exciting job that I always wanted mm -hmm. to do, and that kind of made me stay in the marriage for as mm -hmm. long as I did, mm -hmm. because it, that that I guess you could equate to the child in in the marriage was my job. Right. Uh, after a while, I started realizing, oh my God, I I am miserable with this woman, mm -hmm. miserable, mm -hmm. and have no reason to be with her, and. Um, then when I found a uh, girlfriend, yeah. uh, the girl I'm currently with, yeah. uh, I was given an ultimatum by my wife who said, it's either me yeah. or her. And I cannot tell you how fast I <laughs> ran out the fucking yeah, door that day, went to the phone, called up my girlfriend and said, I'm coming over. It's, it's us. It's done. Oh, God, it's that must done. have been awesome. It was fucking yeah, awesome. Was awesome. It was the best. But the, her ultimatum didn't get out of her mouth and, I'm, and, and it got me thinking like, she actually spurred it in my head. It was like, yeah, why wouldn't it I? is why her or I? you. Well, that's the thing. Why is that the when fuck you're, am I here? Goodbye. When you're, when you're in a marriage without kids, it's about each other. It's like it's about this struggle of two people trying to figure each other out. Yeah. When you have kids, that just goes away. You, know, you start, you start mm. parent. As a matter of fact, the difference between one kid and two kids is huge. Really? Because one kid, you're both doing exactly the same thing all the time. That one kid, which, by the way, deranges the kid's brain, because <laughs> the kid is a fucking like ba her face is like Beirut. It's a battleground <laughs> of two fucked up war torn people. Factions. But then once you have two kids, you you split off, and then you start fucking resenting. And again, I totally when I I can put myself in her skin and go. I'm fucking killing that guy when he comes home. I mean, just shooting him right in the fucking face because she doesn't even have any distractions. So yeah, you get oh out. God, I can't, why don't you just do this, Lou? This I is this, I don't have kids, but why don't you just do this? Yeah. So if you guys want to have sex, why don't you say go in the other room? Mommy and dad need some alone time. Go in there. That's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. Go, a great go idea. in there. Why don't you get our help? What's that? You're making a pretty good living. Get yeah. her a little help. Fuck her, man. I don't, I use. My, I want need my money to buy porn at the fucking hotel and stay at the Ritz on the road. Exactly. You did tell that story. You, you, you no, stayed no, in the greatest no, hotel. I stay at the, the best road. hotel in every town because fuck her. And then has some. <laughs> and then has some kind of excuse why the uh, money's not. Yeah. No, no. Of course uh, she doesn't. Look, she's a very. She's an attachment parent. Like she sleeps with the kids. We, you know, it's a very. Uh, we we have uh, babysitters, but we never would have a nanny. I hate the idea of like a nanny living in the house, but mm. you know, I've offered to her to have any help that she wants. You should be on one of those kids shows where they like study oh, like the you guys, nanny, yeah. or whatever the nanny. That's, you a, know what the nanny show is now. is fucking horse shit, fucking cunt feed. Which Editing. doesn't even mean anything. I just wanted to say cunt. <laughs> No, the thing is, if, like, we have a dog, we've had a dog trainer over, any new person with treats will get your dog to do anything. Right. They leave, it's over. <laughs> fucking nice lady with an English accent starts talking to the kids, and Mary there's a camera Poppins, around. right? Yeah. yeah no, no. It's Mary Poppins for a... Uh, uh, yeah. It's like when Mary Poppins, of a Mary Poppins left. movie. When she leaves, it's yeah. all hell breaks loose again. Hey, Mike in North Carolina, you got something for Louis C.K.? Hey, Louis, what's going on, buddy? Hey. Hey, did you, did you see this thing you had a... Uh, you're still breastfeeding a two-year-old? Yeah, my wife, wife is. Yeah. 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 Have you ever been to a grocery store? It's called Gerber's, man. That, that kid's probably walking around by now. What time are you going to cut that She stuff eats off? other food. She doesn't just eat, drink breast milk. She's two. <laughs> She'd have to drink like six <laughs> gallons a day. Uh, no. 
She eats fucking hamburgers and french fries and just kind of washes it, it down with, with some tit milk. Mind if I have yeah, some no, of it's your not beverage it's, to wash this down? It's comfort. She does it for comfort. <laughs> it's actually, yeah. it's good to breastfeed kids for a long time. I, it's the, There's nothing better than, bre other than breastfeeding to grow a kid up confident that it's good for their brain. There's all kinds of shit. Yeah. But uh, it's taken too long. All right, Maria. Yeah. Two years is too long. Maria, New York. Hi, guys. Hey. I just wanted to say how depressing it is. I'm going to be a year married in June, and I hope it doesn't happen that it happens to Louis. Uh, when did he get married? Uh, in June last year. Uh, uh, okay. First time it's you and then yeah. you said you and, but then you amended it. It sounded like you added said a J. Wait, it was, uh, it went, what month again? June. She, she is uh, a Latina. She's very, uh, si, yo Ma Latina. Maria. And Louis, uh, yeah, Maria. Don't yeah, they're donde estas? Donde estoy? No, de uh, donde estas. I love when I correct you. <laughs> Where am I from? Yeah. Where am I from? I'm from Uruguay. Mm -hmm. Say something else in that language. Uruguay. Say something else. The, tu madre es un uh, muy grande uh, <laughs> Chihuahua. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I've never been there. <laughs> Faggot. That's <laughs> Spanish for Jim. All right, you're depressed. <laughs> yeah. I am. I, I really, I really listening to you guys because we are planning to have kids, and yeah. I just hope that. That's the reason you listen to us. <laughs> <laughs> no. We help them come quick. <laughs> yeah. Are you happy with your marriage? We are. You guys I am. get along great. Yes. And you're gonna have kids. Yes. Great. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Enjoy. <laughs> Godspeed. All right, let's Enjoy. go to Mike in Vegas. Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got hey, something Mike. for you. Uh, put it like this. I've been married for a long time, and uh, my secret is uh, you got to have someone else on the side, someone European. Mm. All right, good. Someone with a hairy box. Uh, <laughs> all right, Steve in California. Steve. Hey, Louie. Mm. Guys, love you. Love the show. Mm. i got to say, you guys have two of the greatest therapists on the air. you got Patrice for the single guys and Louie for the married guys, and then you got <laughs> Jim for a sex counselor. Um, Louie, I, I know what you're feeling. I've got uh, five kids. been married oh, about shit. 18 years. And, you know, oh. actually, I do have <laughs> sex regularly. My wife and I went through some struggles, and it was painful. Her and pussy must look like the hood of a, a sweat jacket. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, uh, the With the strings pulled, so it's all pruny around the edges. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean anyway, that. Thank out. you. Her right. twat must look like the fucking the, an upside down baseball cap. It looks like. Yeah, no, to me, the interesting thing is one of the because we know a lot of couples that have been through this time that are now doing well. Really? We know a lot of... Co I've met people that have said what this guy said. He's five kids deep. He's still fucking, so he must have worked it Does out. Does she make so you laugh? I'm amazed to think that this could work out and turn out to be... So okay. there's a point down the line where supposedly th might. this works out. It, it, yeah, and I... They're a bit optimistic. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I, I know it's happened to other people. That mean, means not at all that it's that you, it's going to happen to you me. you got to do a show on 202 just talking about marriage. Sure, You're dedicated, but it's out of, like, selfishness. Like you're dedicated to, to this uh, marriage, yeah. but it's out of selfishness because you enjoy the kids and. Well, it, it's I mean, not it's, like it's my it's responsibility. Not, I have to be there. Be, I have to be there for the kids. I think the kids need me in their yeah. lives. I don't think the kids would do well just with her. So you're not. Well, that, that's kind of cool. Then it's not as selfish as it came off originally. <laughs> Did it come off as selfish? No, no, I'm kidding. Wait, look, do you, do it, you, no, maybe it is. I don't know. I might be very selfish. No, no, no. It just, I it mean, just, I am. I am a selfish. No, person. it just came off like like uh, the reason you're together is because yeah. you do enjoy the time with the kids and the wife when you're with the kids. All oh, right. Of, uh, well, no, uh, that, that, that. But, makes but there it, are some people yeah. that stay together just based on. The sanctity of marriage. Well, that's the, I'm not shit. giving up on this. That can suck that my kind of mother's shit. bush oh, okay. all night. Yeah, right. I don't give a shit about that. Uh, sanctity of fuck yeah. you. We'll get a couple fuck more of that. Chris and Philly, what's up? Hey, boys. Love you. Love the show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I went through basically the same thing Louie's going through. You know, I was like, yeah, I just want to stay together just because I have a daughter. Then she became a real cunt. I was like, all right, we'll go to counseling. Maybe it'll work out. Went to one counseling session. And she's like, "You're not into it. You're, you're, you know, you're just playing around." You know, I was honestly trying to go. I was like, "All right, yeah, I want to stay together because of my daughter." Now, she's like, "We're done," and that was it. I was like, "Now she's being a cunt and trying to rape me for everything that I had." Were you playing around? No, not at all. Mm. I called her a couple times. I was going through my computer, and I said, like, right, "Let's see what she's been chatting about." Went back in the chat logs. Here she's talking to guys in Maryland. Oh, Maryland. Like, oh. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm you like, know what they say about guys in Maryland. Yeah. Yeah. Pants mm -hmm. come off and the crab cakes come out. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Thanks, boys. Punch it out. Hey, Lou, uh, did, did your you wife make you laugh? No. Disgusting. Does she make you laugh at all, your wife? Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, she's funny. It can be funny it's good. sometimes. It's important. All right, uh, Jeff the trucker. Jeff, what's up? Yeah. I don't fart yeah. in the studio, by the way. No. I have Never been here, about a Never year, have. and, uh, man, I'm already miserable. I was a local truck driver for a while, and she just completely changed when we got married, just, you know, ragging on my ass about everything. And married one year, he's just, miserable already. Oh, well, you know, the what thing is, hell? any two people, you take two people and you put them in the same house, what the fuck are the odds that's going to work out? There's just no yeah. way. No, like, it's this simple. Like, the person you're married to will always disappoint you because they're not you with a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want her to be is me with a cunt <laughs> and no beard. That's it. I want to fuck myself. I want to make myself wet and fuck myself. That's all. <laughs> Anything short of that is a drag. Your wife is a cunt. Your wife is a whore. Yeah, no, no. You hate I, your I'm wife. I'm already going uh, back on the road as an over, over the road trucker ever, so, you know, fuck it. I just, like... Hell, I can I can see more out here than I can at home anyway, and it's better yeah. looking anyway. So yeah. what the hell? Yeah. Okay. All right. Shh. It's Mrs. Jimmy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another guy. He's only been married a year. Greg in D.C. What's up? Ah, uh, hey boys. First time caller, long time listener. Love everybody there. Quack quack. Yeah. Hey. Uh, everything everybody's saying is just. So hitting home right now. I just got had a kid three months ago. I've been married for a year. Uh, fucking knocked her up again by accident. She just had an abortion. We both agreed on it. Had a boy. The thing is, though, the wire. Fucking, I've always uh, <laughs> talked to my ex girlfriends no matter got what. A grandfather Claude Claude <laughs> caused your late term abortion. In this. Yeah, uh, they fucking yanked the kid's arm out. There was a watch on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. You guys are cruel, but I don't know, man. <laughs> Keep talking, man. This shit is fucking good therapy for me because I just want to fuck it all. But I love my little girl. What can I do? You know, I got to yeah. stick it out. Yeah. No, and the thing to remember is that any fucking you have kids with a person, you're both you're going to get it in a shitty thing. There's just no way out of it. Every marriage with kids is going to go to an awful place where you both want to leave. I don't think it's possible to not go there. Wow. I think anybody who tells you that they don't want to get there. Is lying to you. you what know, is important? It about communication. communication? You got to communicate. <laughs> Good one, Jim. That's communication the whole thing. is key. What the fuck is <laughs> it about this procreation thing? Because it says fucking the stakes get high when other these little people are around. Why do people want to do it? Oh, why do people want to procreate? I don't. Get I got it. no answer for that. Why got, do people when like we, they get when me and my and wife got pregnant? This is how it <laughs> happened. All of our friends were having babies, mm -hmm. and they all had to like pay money to doctors and go through every single couple we knew. What went through, like, we have been trying for a year and it hasn't worked. And now we have to do this, unplug her uh, cunt <laughs> tubes, whatever it is. And so my wife said, let's try to have a baby. And I, I didn't feel like having a debate. So I'm like, yeah, if you want to give it a try. Because I really believed in my mind, well, we'll try oh, for a while. And then yeah. I can, for right now, I can say yes and I can say no later. And I fucked her once with no condom on a decent day, and she got motherfucking wow. You must have been like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. That's great, honey. Oh, shit. oh my God. I was like, oh, you got to be shitting me like that fast. Uh, how long had you been condoms? married at that point? Uh, we had been married for 99 to, to uh, like a couple of years. Just a couple of years. Yeah. yeah. And then we had our daughter who, uh, and immediately fell in love with her on site. Really? Totally changed my life. That the happens. instant I saw, yeah, that happened for me. The instant I saw her, I was like, I don't even, I know what this is. I'm Jesus. not going to run from That's this. That's what everyone says. Some people run from it from the day it happens. They're like, ah, no, I ain't fucking a fucking diaper, no. <laughs> and you see fathers that fight it their whole lives and they play golf on weekends. That, I, I'm not that guy. I love kids. I love the smell of baby shit. I honestly do. <laughs> Uh, I fucking love watching them. You know, I have, I am a very, I found out shit about myself by having kids. I'm a patient person. I didn't think I was. Yeah. I thought I was a selfish, impatient, anxious faggot. But <laughs> I can sit and watch a kid try to tie their shoes and not let me help them when we have to get somewhere. And I can take a breath and deal with it and go, okay, no, go ahead. Oh, wow, you can that try. Good. Look, I can make a call and we can go later. It's not the end of the world. Go ahead. Wow. I found out that I have skills I didn't have. So it's been the greatest thing. Wow. The second kid, it was born because I wanted I wanted to stop an argument. That really, is. a person exists in the world because I just <laughs> wanted her to shut the fuck up for a minute. <laughs> There's a person with a birth certificate who will have a future and a job, maybe be the president, because I was like, all right, the fuck, <laughs> it's a fucking mistake, and I'm on record. 
take off your pants, I'll fuck you. That's what you, that's what you this, the point How of How many this times is. did that take? About okay, instantaneous. Oh, you're amazingly fucking came fertile. out of her ass while I was fucking her in the puss. <laughs> <laughs> you got super fucking. There was a kid wow. that was bumping her my dick uh, against her head before I was done. Fertile. Yeah. Hey, Alex in Utah's got something. Alex. Hey, guys. Long time listener. And I uh, want to say that I've been married 10 years. Got two kids. And me and my wife had a rough patch a few years ago. We went to a counselor, and this bitch of a counselor was just all over me. And then at the end of the counseling session, me and my wife were against the counselor, and we were calling her a bitch and everything else to her face. And then you got back together. The, be yeah, the best thing together, for yeah. a couple is hating other people together. That's that's huge. Oh, absolutely. That counselor was such a bitch and yeah. a cunt that she needed to get her ass kicked. I was about ready to beat the hell out of her. And your wife and felt the wife same way. You know what? We had the best sex that night. I mean, it was pure hate fucking, but you know what? The best shit in the world. That's great. There you hate, go. Hate fucking. All hate right. fucking is awesome. Uh, it's time for the line of the day. Brought yeah. to you by BodogFight.com. For all the for all that's happening in the world of mixed martial arts, check out BodogFight.com. We got lots of runner-up lines of the day today. Ooh. Here's uh, here's the first one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but at least I can bottom out. Can you? How big's your dick? How, How big is my dick? Yeah. Well, you know, big enough to bottom out you know, an eleven-year-old girl. <laughs> <laughs> Corpse. <laughs> there you go. Corpse. An eleven-year-old corpse this is horrid. Here's another runner-up line of the day. I've got uh, five kids. Been married oh, about shit. eighteen years, and you know, oh. actually, I do have oh, sex regularly. My wife and I went through some struggles, and it was painful. Her and pussy must look yeah. like the hood of a, a sweat jacket. Let me get this out. Hey, Mike in Virginia. Yeah. Hey, uh, Louis. Yeah. You're speaking my language. I uh, had my second kid uh, faked orgasms for a year and a half, so I didn't have to pop it out, settle an argument, and... Uh, Spend fifteen grand on I IVF. How do you fake an orgasm? You're a guy. Well, I, you know, you just you kind of moan. You know, what did you do? Uh, yeah. oh, you pump oh, a little higher, oh. pissing her cunt. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I got fucked, but and I hate kids. See you. Okay. All right. All right, thank you. All right, here's another runner-up line of the day, thanks to BodogFight.com. There it is again. The cunt kills me. <laughs> got my daughter saying it now. It's oh. All right, she like learned it from her husband one day anyway. Is she saying, Daddy, stop fucking my... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this really got inappropriate. Yeah. That could be the worst thing I've ever heard anyone say on this show. That's ah, pretty bad. Daddy, yeah. stop and fucking... Hot. I like that the little yeah. girl that's asking to not be raped by her dad uses the word cunt. Yeah. Like, she's, you know... <laughs> Daddy, please don't fuck my cunt, you well, old Well, he never bag. said... <laughs> He never said how old she was. No, that's true. She could have been 20. Yeah. 20. Yeah. Here's your line of the day. Thank you, BodogFight.com. Here, here comes the line of the day. Line of the day. Like, how long has it been for you? Somebody goes, two months? And now we all have to say two months because you lied. <laughs> like, you know, it's Why? Like, it's been longer? Of course it has. Two months, what is your wife a whore? <laughs> That's unbelievable. <laughs> two months. <laughs> Wait for it. Master Poe singing. Yeah, that's nice. Master Poe singing um, when doves cry. We isolated his oh. vocals from the from the music, and that was him doing Prince. By the way, is he isolated. the guy who does that on the Prince song? <laughs> um, uh, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, uh, thank God we had the last uh, half hour of the show, or there wouldn't have been absolutely oh, I know. any we're, line of the day. Oh, we were serious for like three hours today. Hey, yeah, uh, from a very reliable source, Howard believes that Fox <laughs> negated all his fans' uh, votes to get Sanjaya out, and he wants an investigation immediately. What a fucking loser. Uh, what happened? Did Sanjaya funny. get voted off? He finally off? got kicked off, yeah. Fine, and Howard thinks there's fraud. Howard, Howard thought he had the power to make him the American Idol winner. And so he thinks there's fraud. Yeah. yeah. While we're all talking about this shooting down there, uh, of course, he's, he's worried about himself there's again. There's fraud, all right. <laughs> yeah. Who cares? Unbelievable. Oh. Let's get the plugs in. Louie, what do you got going on? Caroline's next weekend uh, in New York City. Punchline this weekend in Atlanta, Georgia. And you can also buy Shameless, my HBO DVD on... Um, 
my special. Yes. Amazon, it's on pre-sale. Amazon. And I'll be... Uh, Jimmy. Tomorrow night, I'm heading up to Massachusetts. You're going to be at... Uh, uh, the Cradle of Liberty. Yes. Chicopee. In Chicopee, at the Comedy Connection, it's the uh, Hooky Lao. The Hooky I'm only doing one show. Due to a complete lack of interest. <laughs> <laughs> and let's uh, talk about pre-sale tickets. So all day today. Did you yes. go to what? OpianAnthony.com? OpianAnthony.com or uh, MySpace.com slash OpianAnthony. And there's a link that you can click on. Um, and you can get the pre-sale tickets. They're, they're sold out. I think the pre-sale tickets are sold out in Mohegan Sun. That's pretty cool. Yes. And the tickets go on sale tomorrow for everybody. Yeah, so uh, uh, tomorrow, Friday wide. Friday wide. Friday wide. Are you just going to walk up to your girlfriend and point at your kiss shirt? <laughs> Is that kind of how it's going to work? Uh, Go. I got, but no, but first I got to set up like a, a question for you. Question for you. Okay, question. what? It's like awkward. We're both shuffling because she knows I'm going to want physical contact that she <laughs> fucking finds repulsive. <laughs> oh, God. She's looking at that stream going, oh, God. Oh, here so it my comes. God. You know my favorite band? I just kind of stood there waiting. Uh, she's God. like, yeah. I'm like, well, you know. Well, you oh. know. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Unfortunately, I do. I think God died on that day. <laughs> <laughs> I think he watched that and went, something I made did that. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. Oh, that's not, I like the feeling of, like, embarrassment I get when you tell that story. Oh. It's like a weird, oh, like a bad God, thing. Yes. It's like I'm a cutter, and I need, like, that awkward, horrid feeling I get oh. when you tell you, that story. Do you get embarrassed me when I tell that story? I, I feel I feel visceral, like I feel physical. Yeah, yeah. It's like this weird yeah. feeling I get because I know. I, look, I can relate to it, and oh, it's awful. yeah, yeah. Everybody oh, was like, awesome. did stupid but shit. But I mean, like as that. the as, as the day wore on, and she didn't acknowledge it, I just was like, all right, I guess we're not gonna. Mm. So, so you thought yeah. the day wore on, like you thought somewhere like three hours later she'd go, oh, you, oh, oh. yeah. I thought it was the Beatles, you dummy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, they're waiting. We got a meeting. We got yeah. soups out there. What? Oh. Yeah, we got Holy a quick little. Why I. So we got to okay. go. Uh, Louis, thank you very See much. You. Thanks a lot, guys. I had a lot of fun. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Yes, Louis, thanks. Hi, this is Jessica Simpson. Hey, I'm Joy Fatone. Hey, I'm Hillary Duff. What's up, everybody? I'm Mariah Carey. Hey, this is Michelle Branch. None of those people have ever appeared on the Opie and Anthony Show. <laughs>